Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome once again to the vidIQ channel audit live stream. I am your host with nowhere near the most, Rob, and I will be guiding you through the next couple of hours as we open our doors to all of you and we take a look at your channels. We offer our wisdom, our experience, and any tips, tricks, advice, and strategies that will help hopefully help you grow your channels. And I could not do this without our wonderful collection of guests and co-producers. The first introducing now, Dan, hello. You are co-producing this live stream with us. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Uh, I was good. I was, uh, you know, just trying to relax a little bit and get, you know, zen. You just threw me in here without warning. And so I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit upset. My heart's going, but I think I'll be okay. I do apologize. I do apologize. The, the reason I'm saying co producers is because, as you may have noticed, we're using a slightly different piece of technology this week. Uh, hopefully, Travis, that means that we are going to do a good job this week and nothing goes wrong. Uh, so, yeah, we do apologize if there's any technical difficulties or issues. Uh, but we're trying StreamYards this week to see if it's going to be better than what we usually use. And with that being said, let's welcome in Travis as well at the same time. Hello, Travis. How are you doing? Welcome yeah. back to the channel audit live stream. Hey, 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 how's everyone doing? We're live. We Believe are it. so, so live. We need to make sure that we don't swear or make any mistakes. Uh, fingers crossed, touch wood, three and a half years into this. And I think I've only swore once on a gaming live stream, Dan, that we once did when I lost it. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Fallout guys or whatever game that was uh, back in Christmas. And we're going to welcome our returning guest this week, part of the vidIQ family. Uh, she uh, came on a couple of months ago, and uh, much to junk satisfaction, we were able to do some animations with her and memes of the week. Uh, and she's back again. It is Jade Dharma Wangza. How are you, Jade? Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here. No cussing. I successfully <laughs> did that last week, uh, last time I was here. So I'm super excited to put it to the task today. All right, and the challenge is there, uh, if we can do it. Let's say hello to a couple of uh, people in a live stream. Dan, if you want to say hello to some people, who who have we got here? There's all kinds of people here. Uh, we have... Aren't there, aren't there such? There's so many. Yaya's Rainbow, Nintendo Time, Surfing YouTube, Koi Fish Gaming. We have Vibing Exports, Joshua's Guitar. We have Sophie Slime. Or Sophia Slime, something like that. But yeah, there you go. Lala reacts. You're just picking people now. It's confusing. I'm just you picking people who saying hey and hello. Yeah, and this is really working out well for me. I like pizza, and yeah, it's Ella. Why not? And uh, Travis, who are you going to say hello to? Let's say War Jackie. Good to see you, War Jackie. Uh, we got Super Pixel Master, Sophia Slime. Is my I think you said that already. Uh, Ghost Guy, and uh, Dead Bone YT. And Jade, do you have the chat up? Are you able to say hello to some folks? Apologies if you don't. I don't have the chat up, but I see the Dragon X. I see the comments on the screen. Providity, oh. what's Let's up? See. Love you guys. I love you too. All right. I All of these people watching. joining us this week, thank you very much. Uh, I am going to apologize. I forgot to, or I've already made a mistake here. I forgot to do memes of the week, uh, <gasps> but I have done them. And we'll do them at some point, maybe uh, like as an intermission. Uh, but I have got means of the week uh, that will be running very soon. But as always, uh, you are here to get your channel audited. Uh, so if you are new here, do let us know in the chat with a hashtag new. If you are a regular here, also let us know in the chat. And what we're going to do now is just introduce channel audits and how it works for you all with this 60 second explainer. Welcome to the vidIQ channel audit live stream where we review your YouTube channels. There are two links in the description, one for gaming channels, one for non-gaming channels. Make sure you submit every week as we clear the form after every live stream. Channel audits are 100% free, so please don't send us any super chats expecting to receive an audit. And don't waste your time asking for one in the chat. If there are any alternative ways to get picked for an audit, such as memes, we will let you know during the live stream. If we can't audit your channel today, vidIQ has a channel audit tool working 24 7 for you. If you haven't already installed vidIQ, download it now for free. A link is in the description and make sure to take advantage of our free 30 day trial. If you submit your channel for audit, expect the following. We are sharing nothing more than our knowledge, our experience and our passion as fellow YouTube creators. It's up to you whether or not you take our advice. There are tons of links to lots of useful resources in the video description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this live stream with another fellow creator who may find it useful. And finally, moderators, 
thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you do every single week. All right, let's do this. All righty, and that is your explainer there. Oh, wait, wait. I, listen, I wanted to check out this system because the system is so great. Look, you already lost somebody. Look at that. You already did lost somebody, Rob. The technical difficulties have already started. The Savage Man came in early only because I realized something yeah. that I can't do my, my like, trick come in when you're not watching thing because we're not using Zoom. And I got to use actual glasses now. So you're really messing me up, Rob. I'll tell you something. I, I just wanted to come by and say hi real quick. I just want to say hi. Hi, hi, Savage. Even though for some weird reason it does say Travis MCP. On I stole him. Name. I, him I, I don't know why that is. I kicked him out. Don't worry about it. Listen, I'll be back later on. Hope y'all doing well. All right. Clear off, Savage. Uh, so where was I? Yeah, I was going to do the usual housekeeping. Uh, we continue to support the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund through Super Chat. So any Super Chats go directly to that cause. Thank you in advance if you do so. Um, we are not just a auditing service. Um, we have many tools that are available to you if you download the vidIQ Chrome extension. Just as an example, I always like to show you one tool every single week. If you are ready to publish a video and you're not sure whether or not it's going to compete well against your competition, then we have something called the thumbnail preview tool that shows you how your video is going to look against the top ranking content. So when you're ready to publish a video, and you have vidIQ downloaded and installed, you'll see this tool here in the video details. What do you want your video to search for? If I say YouTube CPM and then click preview in search results, this is now showing you how my thumbnail may compare to the rest of the videos on YouTube about CPM. And I don't know about you folks, but do you think this video here looks good? Do you think it would compete well in the, the, the CPM world? Totally, the green is so yeah. eye-catching. Everyone else can't compete. There you go. Thank you, Jade. Thank you. I love this tool, and it's one of the many tools we have available at vidIQ. And if you want to download it and get a free trial, 30-day uh, free usage of all of our tools for new customers, then make sure to check out the video description where we have a link right there. But with all that being said, I know everybody can see our screens, so let's just jump straight into the first channel that we're auditing this week. This was the first channel that submitted this week, and they are the eggy bread. So I think I'll start with Travis on this one, just to get us an insight on what you think this channel is on first impressions. Then I'll open it up to the rest of the floor. Isn't eggy bread like an English thing? Yeah, I think it's when you fry an egg and you let the, oat, the yolk split and then put it all over the bread and it's just disgusting, soggy and horrible. That's interesting. That's an interesting name. I like the fact that it's memorable. Like we always talk about memorable names. Um, but it looks like... Um, this is, a, is this an animation channel? Looks like I it might it be, looks to be an animation channel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me full screen this so I can see what's going on. Uh, yeah. Okay. So six queens dance with the historic. Okay. So this is a newer channel. 383 subscribers. That's great. That's actually very hard to do with an animation channel. Looks like they've only had, man, not a terrible amount of videos to get that many subscribers. It is very difficult to, to get an animation channel off the ground, especially if you're new. Look at that. 49,000 views uh, a while back. That's. So I would maybe see if there's a way to, to dig back into that. Like what made that video so popular? Oh, maybe it went onto the short shelf because it's a uh, 14 second. Maybe. Uh, I think it's a landscape video. So it didn't go into the short shelf, but I think what you're highlighting here, Travis is how, and what this is something we recommend to animation channels is how to tap into the cultural zeitgeist with hmm. popular trends and themes. And I assume these Shula sisters, uh, were popular on TikTok and they've done an animation remix of it. And that, as you say, it really kicked off. But that was 10 months ago. Yeah, yeah. So it might be time to see if there's another way to to kind of, you know, expose yourself back to that crowd. Um, but yeah, it looks like obviously animation doesn't have to necessarily be searchable because typically people are looking for specific channels or something interesting. They're not really searching for candy store and animaniac, animaniac, ah, Heather's the musical. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Um, I, I like what I see. I just wonder if the animation is um, what it looks like. Is it, is it kind of the junk uh, kind of style or is it, you know, more fluid or they're all very short videos. I'll so play one, but I'll mute it just to give you an idea of what the flavor is here. So it is landscape. This is the big one. They got yeah. almost 50,000 views. And I think it's probably driven by music a little bit here, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not sure if there's any copyright issues. So I don't want to. Yeah, of course. Mute it. Yeah. So that was interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's simplistic, but, um, you know, eye catching uh, content, I guess you just want to figure out like, what are people watching and subscribing for? Find what videos are your most subscribed videos and see if there's a topic or theme that's behind them and try to double and triple down on that. 
Let's open the floor to Jade and Dan. Any thoughts on this one? Jade, I think you, I think you muted, Jed. I'm muted. Okay. Um, I totally agree. Like the because your audience is on TikTok, like you need to pick on TikTok culture. So some ideas I've seen do really well is like compilation videos. So like if you are posting your YouTube videos onto TikTok, I would always recommend to create compilation videos because especially with animation, like 15 second videos um, are great, but you could look at the best of your work. Like if you want to recycle other TikToks or even like mesh other people's TikTok and yours, like the best animation compilation. So you can kind of gather that audience. Like essentially I'm just trying to think of ways to really harness that TikTok audience um, yeah. onto YouTube. Um, another thing is like, if you are posting on TikTok, like you could use this channel as a behind the scenes channel of like you doing a speed painting or like showing you like how you made this TikTok. Like that does really well and gives your channel a purpose. Um, and yeah, I always like always recommend like remixing does really well. So like if 10 months ago, the Shuler sister remixed it really well, like always try to like, I don't know, remake it. Like I've seen people, which is um, an animator that my company works with named King Science and Nutshell Animations. They have over 10 million fans. I think I mentioned this last week, but like they always like remake their old work, like even with the same audio, just because you improve as an artist. So like if you really have no ideas, just like remake the same video in your new skill. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm actually making a video about that right now, whereby often creators are, are fearful of redoing content. But my wet philosophy on this is the first time you reach an audience with content, even if it does really well, you're touching a fraction of your target audience. And then, as you say, Jade, as you level up and skill up, you've got an opportunity to then touch your the target audience, which is still monumental compared to who you've already who've or, who's already seen your content. Uh, so I, I always I love the idea of uh, redoing content with new ideas, skills, and and, and, uh, and approaches to the to the content. Dan, any final thoughts, or are you good to start with the first gaming channel? I I just I like everything that's been said. I was looking at their overall uploads to the history of their channel, which we can see on just one page. Not a lot of videos, but yeah. it does look like in the last month or so they've picked up a little bit and they're doing more, which would be the recommendation. I know animation's tough, but as time goes on, there'll be more and more data to sample from and help guide you, you know, in in all of your content decisions. And the final thing I want to say is that I think there's a good through line through all of these videos. You know, you're averaging between 150 and 300 views per video, roughly. You know, there's nothing that's really tanking on the channel. So return viewers or people coming back to watch your content is is encouraging as well, even though the channel at this point is relatively uh, small. Uh, but best of luck to you, Eggy Bread. That is the first channel we ordered to today. The next channel, as always, is a, it's a gaming channel, but it's kind of not a gaming channel because it's <laughs> a flight simulator channel. Uh, so this is Central Aviation. Uh, Dan, I'll start with you, but I'm, I know Travis always loves to chime in with these um, videos. The one thing I just want to point out here is how did this video not get more views? How to dock a 747 with a space station. <laughs> and that just seems like a brilliant idea for a video. Yeah. Um, so just looking at the channel from the surface, and now I'm, now I'm going to go ahead and use the full screen option here. Uh, the, the first thing that jumps out to me is that these thumbnails have a lot of text and there's a heavy reliance on text. Sometimes they use red text. We, we just don't like to see that in general. Uh, what I would be curious about is, because I know when Microsoft Flight Simulator came out, this was a huge thing, right? Like there was there's this trend of Microsoft Flight Simulator channels and videos popping up at live streams. How is that doing today? It looks like you're still getting significant amount of views compared to your subscriber count. So has to be still be doing something. And then I would be curious to see what other people in this category are doing with their thumbnails. Because uh, that's that's where I'd want to focus on right now if if I were this channel is improving these thumbnails a bit. Because um, yeah, the they're kind of, I guess, just generic as if to say, I need to get a thumbnail up and I already edited this whole video. I'm just going to get something on there, you know? And it looks like they're, not mimicking the title in all of them. Some of them kind of mimic parts of the title, but I would just be using a couple words. Like yeah. like the haters will will say it's in reverse is a good example, but that's a little too many words. But that's kind of what I'm saying is something for impact, something to get people to stop scrolling and go, what's that video about? Travis, what do you think? Well, so what software is this? 
So I don't think it's Microsoft Flight Simulator because oh. the graphics are not as, because obviously sometimes when we look at Flight Simulator thumbnails, we actually think, is that real? Right. But the, the graphics here aren't as real here. So uh, real Flight Simulator, whatever. Oh. Which I, it says on a Tab yeah. SX. So this is what, a, a tablet game? Mobile? Is that a thing, really? Oh, okay. It said oh, it's using screen record on it. So that's, I don't know. Is that a thing? I have to look that up because if it's so, oh, that's a pretty cool looking game. Anyway, yeah, I mean, it, uh, you definitely want to look at what type of things people are interested in um, for flight sims. And inevitably, it's typically like the takeoff, a, a small flight and landing are like typically the ones that are the most interesting and and maybe different things in the air, like the engines go out or something like that. There, it's funny because a couple of months back, I actually got semi obsessed with this, um, which is weird because it's never happened again. This flight simulator channel that had like really funny kind of things happen during the flights, and it was just it was very comical. Like the, it was, I don't even remember what the guy's name, but I must have watched like must have watched it for three or four days straight. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was just because they were doing a lot of the stuff that was just like it was a real airport. So you'd hear the call from like the tower and and just weird things would happen. So maybe if there's, you know, opportunities for interesting, you know, glitches, maybe you land upside down, you know, try different things. But it's too bad that it's not Flight Simulator, mainly because not only is, you know, Flight Simulator doing well, it's about to come out on Xbox, which is going to have another boost of interest. Uh, it'll be on Game Pass here and just not too long. And that right there is going to have a bunch more people who never touched the PC version that are now going to have access to it. And it just brings it up another level. So what you could do if you want to kind of, you know, get on that surge is you could say why this game is better than Flight Sim and do a video yeah, on that. Crossover. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. try to see if you can, you know, bring some of the people who are naturally searching for um, Flight Simulator over this. Yeah. Uh, what I will say, again, very healthy numbers in terms of consistent number of people watching every single video and view counts are at subscriber size or higher, which, again, is really encouraging for me. So, good. Dan, I don't necessarily disagree with your advice about changing the thumbnails, but you've got to be very um, sensitive to how these thumbnails are performing because it may be for this audience that they do work quite well. Um, sure. But it's something, obviously, to test. Uh, Jade, I'll give you the final words if you have any, but if you want me to move on, I certainly can do. I don't know. My dad, like, loves these videos. Um, <laughs> I remember, like, I would go, like, going downstairs, and, like, this is, like, cast on the Chromecast. It's, like, I think for these types of videos, like, you, your audience, like, I, I noticed you're playing around with duration, like, two minutes, like, two hours, two minutes. Like, I think that what you can see is like maybe there's a consistency in terms of like people like liking shorter videos so like i would try to like really focus on that length but other than that i mean like with a thumbnail piece like my dad doesn't pay attention like if i'm looking at the consumer point of view like most yeah. videos like this look like that and it's kind of a yeah. style. So i don't know like I, and you might be able to save it um but yeah the only thing i look at is your timestamps, and i notice you're streaming on the longer ones so um it might be worth to like cut up some frames of this live stream and make it to shorter videos it just seems like that's the length people like four minutes three minutes you do um have a uh, a philosophy of almost adopting the general style of the um the thumbnails in the space even if sometimes it goes against convention because it helps your channel fit into the rest of the crowd um am i right in saying that yeah i have this like thing where you basically just want to blend in with like your channels so like if you make like some channels are supposed to look like weird like i would say like pov channels are a really good example of that it's kind of like it doesn't make sense so from this industry point of view all i know is like thumbnails do look like this it's like typically screenshot and like yeah the text <laughs> mm -hmm. so that is uh, central aviation uh we'll move on to the next channel unless anybody else has anything to add and I think the answer to that is no. Uh, so let's have a look at the money innovator. And I think, Jay, this is one that you picked out. So we'll start with you on this one. All right, money innovator, let's go. So uh, can you scroll down a little bit so I can see the full channel? Um, I think that for such a, you know, congratulations on starting this channel this year, 2021 new channel, I can see uh, that. So round of applause to money innovator. Um, thumbnails are actually like pretty good. Like I'm not gonna lie, you kind of, got the, the look down and the <laughs> expression. Um, I would want to highlight videos that I think are performing better and why that is and compared to videos that are not performing better. Um, you know, should I use Crash or Credit? There's your face. 
there's a clear text and some sort of prop versus how to spend money for money hoarders, you know, the red text and the green green giver is covered by a timestamp and it's really unclear. Um, also the black bar is unnecessary. I would just fully make it like, like take out the black bar and keep it full frame um, as much as you can and move the text up. There you go, thank you so yeah. much. Um, and you know, you're able to, you know, YouTube does take old videos and push it. Like I have a YouTube video right now that had only 5,000 views for the longest time. I uploaded it last year and now it's getting 10,000 uh, views in the past month, in the past like two months, it's gotten like 50,000 views. So like, feel free to change your thumbnail and title. Uh, so I would kind of look at that. The next thing also is like your first video, multiple savings account is hard for me to read. Um, I would change, change that font as well. Um, but yeah, I think overall for like a financial channel, definitely you have some looks spot on. I would also say like, look, like, like I said, you want to blend in with the, the financial crowd, right? So I watch my friend's channel, Charlie Chang, I watch Graham Stefan, like, if you look at their channels, their faces are expressive, but like even more, like their faces are like even more dramatic and higher contrast. So just really try to, you know, take that in to account. Like Graham Stefan is the epitome of like, <laughs> like really blown up, like giant doe twin in the back. Like you might want to play around with that. Um, like I would pull, yeah, let's pull up Graham Stefan. Um, obviously you have to ask yourself if this is the content you want to associate yourself with, but I'm just only assuming like, do you see like the, it's, they use red colors of red, giant yeah. coins, um, you know, emotional, people feel emotion with certain colors, right? You can see on his channel, a lot of, um, if you go to his YouTube channel, like a lot of the colors he uses is yellow and orange and red, like sometimes green. So like, you know, I see your channel, it has a white background. It might be worth to, I don't know, play around with some flames in the back. But I don't know, this is just like, from what I've noticed in the financial world, you you don't have to go this route. Like I've known, like Charlie Chang, another financial channel goes for a more like chill route. So it just, again, it, de it depends on what type of financial channel you wanna be. Yeah, that's, I think this is certainly the the epitome of, of, of thumbnail uh, quality there. And going back to uh, our, here in this case, the money innovator. There, there is already some evolution here, isn't there, Jade, in the thumbnails? Like this one, as you say, it was fairly basic. Yeah, the YouTuber look, but some poor text. Now he's adding a bit of flavor and color. And I guess yeah. the, the saturation of thumbnail, the, the pop is there a little bit. So I think over the first six months, that's a, a good level of uh, thumbnail uh, improvement there. Uh, Dan, Travis, any thoughts about, I guess, the, the, the titling strategy or the topics here? Do you think we're good with these? Um, just, just one thing, uh, I think probably what's happening here with the thumbnails is like, he's standing in front of a, a back wall because he may not understand how to cut himself out. Just yeah. go to remove.bg on, on the web. It's free. It'll cut you out. And then you can put, you know, any background behind you, um, that, you know, that it's such an amazing free website that you have to do it. It's remove.bg. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, titling is, is not too bad. I love the, should I use cash or credit? I think that's like an evergreen thing. Of course, if laws or something change, you should definitely upgrade it or update it. But yeah, I, I love uh, I love what's uh, what's here. Yeah. Maybe, uh, go ahead, Dom. Sorry, I was going to say, maybe you guys would disagree with me. Uh, I'd be kind of curious to get other thoughts on this, but I kind of feel like the channel could niche down a little bit. I think this feels very general. This is like financial advice for literally anybody, but like we just saw with that massive channel uh, a second ago, like that's kind of covered. I would start a little bit smaller. Like maybe you're trying to give financial tips for college students, for example. I've seen one here. You're probably wasting money on pizza. And it's like, well, could you have a whole channel where you're helping people save money on food, for example? And then it kind of, you know, one of the other videos, the, I think the latest one is like, stop avoiding your financial problems. And that just seems kind of vague and again, general to me. I'm sure there's really great advice in here, but it just doesn't feel like it's targeted to anyone in particular. I would yeah, also, I that. just to add on to that, like this channel is fairly new in terms of like, like you don't, you can niche down in terms of topic, but you don't have to pick one. Like you're only four months in. I would say like make very specific videos. Like I would agree with Dan, like make specific videos, but you don't feel like you have to like figure everything out immediately. Cause also yeah. frequency has a whole point of it. Like you're uploading once, twice a month, like for these channels to pop off, like Graham stuff in, like again, look at your industry, like they upload every other day. So it's really important to like, if you're having issues uploading more, just literally post all shorts. I swear to God, like I think a lot of people feel pressure to make 10 minute YouTube videos every single time. Like you can make eight minute videos. I've seen you made five minute videos. Like if you need to experiment more, you can make a minute videos to help with the frequency. 
a counter argument done or do you agree <laughs> no i i completely agree and it's it's all a good right. strategy i mean you 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 can't just go into youtube and make all of the videos i'm just going to make 100 videos about this one subject because i think it'll work you want to test a lot of different things but it just each individual video to me maybe aside from the pizza one just feels vague that was my main point sure uh, I'm just trying to create conflict. That's all. That's all. I like to Let's... fight more. Man. It's okay if you want to fight. <laughs> no, I'm a, uh, a pass. We, we can arrange that. <laughs> uh, next channel, then, we're going to look at is, oh, I think it's uh, your second um, channel that you picked, uh, Jade. So let's look at this one. It's Deanne Creates. Uh, oh, subscriber count has been hidden. But uh, let's see what the channel's about. Take it away, Jade. All righty. Um, well, I used to have a craft channel when I was 10, like 10 years old. I was my first YouTube channel. It's called Kitty Films 8. So this had a very special place in my heart. Um, yeah, in terms of like my thoughts, I think that, uh, can you scroll down a little bit? Sure. Okay. So I see you're making tutorials, um, Memorial Day craft. Okay. Something timely. Um, so from, from this point of view, like I really would go with a, a like the easiest way to get more views and grow this channel is one answer. It's called five minute crafts, okay? So what I would do is like, I would like, your videos are short, like hypothetically, they're not like an hour, like three minutes, five minutes. Like I would try to really be super concise with videos because you're gonna win on search, right? Like you're gonna be an SEO tech channel. People are gonna search Memorial Day craft and you wanna be the first, right? Because your channel is less storytelling based and more like how to, so like, that's the first thing. So what I would do before you even make your pom pom wreath video, search on, you know, YouTube pom pom wreath. Like I use this, I use VidIQ also to like test my thumbnail against other videos. I think we mentioned this, but like you can see it, it's a face and a huge wreath. Like you can look at your competition and just like copy and paste the top performing one. Like I would literally, if not into showing your face, that's totally fine. You could just do a really big picture of the wreath. Like remove the text as much as possible. Like you can see, like the only videos that perform really well with text on the left side, with the wreath on the right side is videos from four years ago. You need to match what where the current market is. Like five years ago, sorry, when I was 10 years old making craft videos, I could get away with thumbnails that look like this, but you can't anymore. So you wanna look not only at your competition, but the date of when that thumbnail slash video was created. Because like I said, you wanna blend in, okay, with the, with the market and I watch craft videos all the time and I've noticed a huge decrease in text and more in the imagery. So just look at uh, five minute crafts too, if you want to see like the, a great channel that's pretty extreme about it. And that's my feedback so far, Deanne uh, Crates. Great job. Yeah, you could certainly argue, going back to this pom pom one, that you don't need any text to just tell a potential viewer what you're going to get out of this video. You just want a super detailed, final finished product or possibly something in the middle of it being created to tell you that this is what you're going to get out of this video. The title is enough to inform us of exactly what we're going to be um, making. And I also like your idea here, uh, Jadev. How do you differentiate yourself from the crowd? And we've often suggested in terms of when it's search based, maybe you can do something in five minutes or you can do something on a budget of ten dollars or you can do something um, which, mm -hmm. which is for beginners or, or whatever. And I always feel as if trying to position yourself in that 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 place, which gives you a more defined target audience is just going to help you as you're a smaller channel trying to get discovered. Also, I don't can you, can you click on that Valentine's Day video, the Woodcraft one? uh which one is like the it's like second row third video to the fourth video to the right it down this one yeah. you click on it i want to see the date so like you made a video for valentine's day on february 1st like knowing the nature of this channel just taking longer i would make things a lot sooner like make it on uh i don't know january 14th like a whole month before because these types of videos take time, like search and discovery takes sometimes four to six weeks from YouTube, right? Like, so really plan behind. I used to make guys, I used to make videos about 2021, whether it's about YouTube or consumer trends on my channel, right? Five months before the next year, like <laughs> I would make it in like October or like September. And that's how my videos got millions of views on my channel because I like was so early. Right, so like, say you also want to differentiate yourself from other competitors, make it super early uh, if you're doing time sensitive stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Travis, Dan, anything to add here? I don't have a craft channel. Dan does, though. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't have a craft channel, but that was that last bit from Jade. There was great advice because when you think about channels like this, you got to think about who the audience is, and these are people who likely want to also make these crafts. It's going to take them a while. Even though your video's four and a half minutes, they still got to go out and get the supplies. They're going to need to follow along and and do all that work. So yeah, having having a little more lead time into Valentine's Day, for example, in this case makes a lot of sense for, uh, I think, the viewer. Let's tackle the next channel, which is the Lawn Mower Lady. I don't think we've ever had a lawn mowing channel before, especially one uh, from a lady purportedly in the uh, about section. Uh, Travis, I know you don't have a craft channel, but you do have a lawn mower channel. So if you want to lead with this one. It's true. I actually was just uh, thinking back to when we used to play Twitch and play Deep Rock Galactic. I was just... <laughs> reminiscing on the good times when we would crack into that rock and get some gems and then someone would die because a big spider would come after us. Ah, oh, that was such fun times. I'm not sure how that relates to this channel. But anyway, uh, Zarba, uh, Zarba Carb, there it is. Is that low carb? Uh, no, it's a carburetor. All right, cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting kind of, um, you know, channel idea, a uh, lawnmower uh, channel. And it looks like it might be like how to repair it or how to fix stuff or yeah, replacing stuff, which is a great place to be. So um, what makes this interesting, like you pointed out is that it's a lawnmower lady. So it's uh, we're assuming coming from a female perspective, which I think in and of itself makes it interesting and different. I mean, again, I don't know how many lawnmower channels are on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty, uh, but this at least uh, differentiates it in a way. And then um, there's DIY raw or tune ups. So there's some tune up stuff, some oil changes. I love that stuff. That'll last forever. If you're ever wanting to learn how to do something and searching how to change your oil and stuff, that's great. You probably don't need DIY there. I think I, it's been a long time since I've done my rant on DIY, isn't it? Since a couple like of weeks, at least, yeah. <laughs> since like 2020. I mean, DIY is, is it's meaningless. It means nothing. So don't even bother putting DIY in there because DIY means too many things to mean any one particular thing. It literally means too many things. It's like you could have craft or you could have fixing things or you can have some little gadget you put together, all DIY. So they mean nothing. So don't even bother. Um, you know, be very specific. Uh, and, you know, the rest of this is. So it's like a bent crankshaft on a lawnmower. Like, I guess, how do you fix Is it how you fix it? If so, I would definitely put that in the title rather than just showing a bent crankshaft. <laughs> like, I don't know what the point of that would be. Um, but people are watching it. Uh, Honda lawnmower. Okay, cool. You have the part number in there for searchability. That's great. Yeah, it looks like it's just an interesting channel where you can learn more about lawnmowers and perhaps how to fix and repair them, which is cool. No. It feels to me as if this channel is really nailing down super specific niches. Like if I need to know how to replace a carburetor on my Honda GCV160, then I know the video to go to. I'm just wondering if this channel is missing out a little bit on almost unniching a little bit here and being a bit more broader about, uh, you know, things about the general lawnmower universe, like listicle things, top five things to keep your lawnmower uh, running at 100%. I don't usually suggest this, but I feel as if there's opportunities here to be a bit broader with your content in the lawnmower space. I'm going to just do some quick searches and if anyone else wants to chime in on what we're looking at here. Yeah, and you know, to Jay's point, I, and I point this out all the time on coaching calls, like the thumbnail style is different per sensibility of the viewer. Like um, if you look at like a cake channel or something like that, it's going to look one way. Bitcoin's going to look completely different. Unclogging a toilet's going to look completely different. So it's all about the, you know, the sensibilities of the viewer. This actually has a much higher quality of thumbnail than I would have guessed. That's so really I'm just getting distracted by the fact there's a lawnmower simulator game. That's just, <laughs> of course there that's, is. That is incredible. Right? And 155,000 views in three days. So there's a lot of people that are interested. Let's just get back to um, lawnmower tips. Yeah. So interestingly, lawnmower tips themselves are quite a bit less the uh, like the quality is more in line with what I would expect yeah, versus yeah. what we just saw, which was kind of weird. It was weirdly kind of high end. Um, so what was what was the last search term? That's kind of weird. So I, oh, it was lawnmower simulator. I just got distracted. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm looking at the things in. I'm looking at search results in the last month just to get an idea of what people are talking about right now in terms of uh, lawnmower searchability i think so i feel as if there's, there's there's more opportunity for this creator beyond their very specific um brands and products in terms of, of fixing 
Yeah, I mean, time of year, perfect, right? Because we're just yeah. into the summertime. So this is the time to get your channel up and running. Um, is there lawnmower ASMR or something like that? Like the, the listening to a lawnmower? I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm just curious. Like, is there a go to sleep to lawnmower sound channel? <laughs> I feel like there might be. Uh, there could be. There could be. I'm just Make a better alarm like a, a channel with 2,000 subscribers, and I've done a video about two simple tips to keep their greens, lo green lawn all summer. It's kind of connected, but that's got 500 views, 400 yeah. views in six days. I imagine in maybe three to six months, if YouTube picks this up SEO-wise, it could have a couple of thousand views, and it's just a yeah. nice little evergreen piece of content, and you could do that. Another one down here, five tips to prevent um, fungus and disease. I know this is more getting into lawns here than lawnmower, but 3,000 yeah. subscribers – a thousand views. That that's yeah. a good return for me. Hundred percent. I love the name of that channel too, Longineer. Yeah, nice, nice. So then, oh, yeah. just going back to this one, a bit text heavy, uh, somewhat. Yeah, um, thumbnails need some work. For sure. The colors of the text is kind of hard to read on at times. I just was looking at like the topic, the portion, the actual like idea behind the video. To be honest, you probably don't need half the text on these thumbnails. You literally could just do close ups of the hardware. Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh, and probably uh, this is a prime thumbnail real estate for having arrows pointing to things. You know, like this is a bit that you probably need to turn. You know, like where you kind of, we talked about this with Charisma on Command, or you have, Travis, where you just add a, a little bit of ambiguity that you point to something, but, you, but the viewer is not entirely sure what. So we need to click in to get the full answer to the question. Uppers, and they're still using it to this day. I should have charged them. Let's move on to the next channel. That is uh, my channel because here we go. Uh, so this is, we had a little bit of a competition yesterday to, and I, I bought something from Amazon. I want people to try and guess what it was in a box because right. uh, it's going to appear on future videos. And uh, somebody got it right. It, oh. uh, it is a new Mandalorian helmet uh, that's, <laughs> that's arrived. And oh Matt God. Carves uh, were, got the correct answer. Uh, so we're going to give him a channel audit right now. Uh, so let's see what we have from Matt Carves, Power Carving Tips and Tricks. And I'm just going to open the floor to whoever wants to start on this one. Your thumbnails, um, the Dremel multi-check problem, one minute fix is like the thumbnail is really good. I think like the way it's worded is like slightly interesting. Um, like I would put the one minute in the front and be like how to fix this in one minute. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to chime in on the wording. Is this, am I like missing something? Is this how you're supposed to word it? Sorry, which thumbnail are we looking at here? I the fourth one. Uh, this one. Yeah. I think it's worded really strange. Is that, is mm -hmm. it, is that like normal for you? Yeah, it is worded strange. It, it is proper, however, it's strange for YouTube. I agree. Like, I would do one minute fix for this Dremel multi-chuck. Like I would I would try to like put the number in the front or do how to fix this in one yeah. minute. Yeah. Uh, like your thumbnail's pretty solid. Like this is some five minute craft stuff, I would see. <laughs> totally agree. I think there's an element here of satisfaction with some of these. I, I think that would be kind of where I would be considering when I'm trying to think who's my target audience. It'd be very satisfying to watch these, uh, yes. less so than like, oh, I want to learn how to do that. And more, more about just like watching something come to life. You it's know? the experience. Yeah, yeah. It's like it could be an ASMR type vibe. Like I would just throw in if there's no audio of you talking, you could just throw in the keyword ASMR. Um, I like, yeah, like see, this is like satisfactory content. I just wanted to listen in here and say. Okay, so he's just talking about his dog first before he makes something. We don't hear it, just so you know, Rob. Yeah, I know. So I, I guess my um, a slight concern here is that we're 30 seconds into the video, and then then this is literally where he says, "This is what we're this is what we're going to make today. I'm going to show you how to carve this." And so the if you look at the thumbnail, the payoff there to actually in the video that those first 30 seconds are so crucial. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just a little worried about whether that little cheeky interlude of, of playing with your dog was a bit too early. You might want to do that after you've paid off on the title and the thumbnail. 
but this is a just a, an example from one video. I don't know if it, if all of the others are similar in that sense. If you were to start the video with a really nice product shot of like the, the I agree. finished piece yeah. and then get into the more vlog style for a few seconds where it's just you kind of around your house like I'm just you're just walking to the workshop, right? So your dog is there and and then you get started. You don't want to you don't want to kind of linger on stuff like that too long because people kind of feel like, "Oh, maybe I clicked on the wrong video." You yeah. know, they're, they're not getting what they were promised. I also think you could get away with just like, just like jumping into carving the video immediately. Like, mm -hmm. like even if like, cause people know they click on the thumbnail cause they know the final product already. Like you don't even have to show the final product in the start, just like start carving and like halfway in an intermediary, intermediary, if you want to, you can kind of make the video have a vlog element, but you don't want to interrupt it. Like you want the vlog to make sense in it. So like my own, my own thinking is like, either make the full video just carving and at the end you're saying like thanks for watching so you have a human element of introducing yourself or just like make that vlog a whole separate thing because i think you could get away with like just jumping right into the video just really satisfy the audience and once i see your face and they're like oh by the way i also make vlogs like show my dogs like you can link them a video that's more vlog related I just saw yeah. the videos by most popular because i was intrigued to know whether this uh was a keyword of strong dominance for this channel and then the top performing videos they all include dremel i'm just checking do they use it in every single title no i don't think they do so that's just your foundation for the channel i'm not saying that you include it in every single video but being aware of um what youtube knows you best for can be useful for having a foundation for the channel yeah sometimes i feel like these thumbnails would benefit from the tool they're using, whether it's a Dremel or a knife or whatever, on the the piece, like so, the smoking nostrils dragon one, you you know you might be able to trick people into thinking that's about something totally different. You know, it, it almost doesn't look like a wood carving video, if that makes sense, unless you have this context because it's just the picture of a dragon. It looks so realistic that it could just be like a you know an animated dragon it doesn't look yeah. like wood at first sight so that would be just a concern for me i think it needs to be very clear that this is a handcrafted piece and the video is about you handcrafting it and sometimes that's very clear and sometimes it's not sometimes you do include the tool to give uh, yeah. the object a sense of scale and now you can really define what what it's made out of dan so yeah i like that as a possible approach as well and so that is Matt Carves. I think he hit 500 subscribers as well. Ooh, while we're your channel. So congrats. congratulations there. Uh, Dan, I'm going to give you 15 seconds to talk about Discord because we are well behind right now. So oh, what have we okay. got to do with Discord? Well, uh, if you don't know, we have a Discord. If you go to vidiq.com slash Discord, you can join right away. And it is free. Once you get in there, be sure you read the rules because uh, our Discord is not a place where people can come and just dump their video and leave. Uh, actually, if they do that, they get removed. So... In, in fact, what you're supposed to do there is join a community full of YouTubers just like yourself who are, you know, sharing advice, looking for advice, and and just kind of you have a whole group of people here who are on the same journey as you at different stages of it. So you're looking right now at the thumbnail channel, my favorite channel in that whole Discord, where people post their latest thumbnail. And like, is this good is uh, the one we're looking at right now. And folks are going ahead and just so I suggest removing the text completely and you know, you're getting feedback in real time from folks. So we do channel audits here and we have this whole extra resource where folks in the community uh, come together and help each other out. And we pick one member of oh, the community too. every single week. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Who, as Dan said, uh, we if you're just going to promote your stuff, we'll throw you out. <laughs> but if you're here providing constructive advice and just being a a fantastic member of the community, we will choose you for being audited. And I think this channel is perfectly designed for us because they've even told us how to pronounce their channel, which is very useful for us. So hello to uh, Show. He actually, I, st I still haven't pronounced it. I can't it do it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It uh, looks like a gaming channel though, Dan. So um, yeah. what are we looking at here? Uh, it looks like we got, I see three different games already, right? Uh, okay. How let's look, let's do this. Let's look at the most popular videos. All right, then. So, you're going to try and suggest that we maybe niche down onto one of these games and play it, through that and then move on to the next one. I mean, yeah, we, we did talk about this a little bit today, but not in the context of gaming channels. Uh, and it was kind of advice I, I actually like. Uh, if you're just starting out on YouTube and you're not quite sure what 
what games, what genre are going to be for you. Totally okay to test some different things. As things progress, though, the more you can niche down, the better. So what I like about these top videos here about Doom is use the chainsaw with haste power up. So there's something very clear happening in that video. You're you're helping people do something specific. Uh, the next one, how to use a tactical BFG shot. So these are shorts. They're doing very well, though, for the channel. Uh, even your shorts are very specific, is my point. And I think that anytime you make a gaming video, regardless of the game, if you can make sure that people know exactly what they're going to get, video after video, just by looking at the thumbnail, looking at the title, then you're doing it right. But if you're going to do Doom Episode 1, you're not really doing anyone any favors. Um, so you're not doing that, which is great. Now, is there crossover between Village, uh, is that Resident Evil? It's kind of hard to see, and Doom. And it's hard to say. It looks like your latest videos have not... Well, no, sorry, that's 1K. Excuse me. So there we go. That and was a get... short... I mean, a lot of these are shorts as oh, well. Oh, is it a short really... channel? Maybe I should have we looked at that be, uh, Well, hang on, let's check. Yeah, it looks like they are shorts. Um, but not all of the videos stream. are shorts. We have a five-minute video here. Okay. And then some live streams as well, which are approaching two hours. Okay. So, yeah, on a shorts channel, it, it's everything goes out the window, doesn't it? Because you can you can get all these different audience from, audiences from all these different parts of YouTube. So if your channel is... If all these games are close enough together... Uh, and I would say Resident Evil and Doom have have some similarities. Then you're probably okay in that department. I guess the, then it comes down to goals. What's your long term goal for this channel? Are you eventually trying to pivot to long form content? You, I see some live streams there, so my answer it would probably be yes. And if so, you just have to uh, you know test out the different types of videos as you start testing out long form content. There's a really good bit of advice that Blockfax gave during a recent podcast. I'd recommend listening to it. Uh, he noticed that his shorts on his channel were starting to get more views from uh what was it called rob the not not shorts anymore but recommended i think browse videos browse yeah. thank you um so he was getting more views from browse than shorts after a while and that to him was an indicator hey maybe i can make some long form content and sure enough his first long form video has blown up on his channel it's <laughs> it's doing great for oh, yeah, 10 minutes yeah, long I'll, I'll quickly bring that up just uh Oh, interesting. Show you what we mean. So, yeah, we had a channel that uh, did nothing but 27 second shorts for forever and a day. Oh, my God. Got hundreds of millions of views from this. Mm -hmm. And he was terrified about transitioning to long form content, but he did it. And I would say now this video that has nearly a million views has probably generated 100 times more revenue than all of his shorts. Wow. It's yeah. Great to see that he's approaching a million views on that. I need to show it, this to Jack Feldman again. Just to, just to tell him to <laughs> get on that. Just to, it is just to let him know. Very, very encouraging. And the the thing to note here, the other reason I bring this up is because the channel we were just looking at, like we saw, was playing a few different games. Yeah. Block facts doesn't just play Minecraft. All the videos are literally facts about Minecraft. He doesn't deviate from that. He doesn't decide one day I'm just going to play Minecraft. I'm just going to walk around and build a farm. He's constantly giving that value to the audience you you subscribe to me for this one specific thing and i'm going to give you that over and over again and that's the other reason why he was able to make that pivot in my opinion because the audience has been so used to seeing his shorts for so long and they know that if they click on a 10 minute video you know they're going to get block facts still it's the same content now i think jeff mentioned that uh Hiakcho uh, is uh, one of our boost uh, client, boost coaching clients. So he's going to oh. get uh, like a full 60 minute coaching call uh, with Jeff uh, very soon. So hopefully uh, Jeff uh, follows on, on like the, the taster session that we've just provided him with here. Uh, let's move on to the next channel then. And yes, and well, before we get to the next thing, I mean, and I've heard this a lot before, but it literally just happened to me and it's a little bit disturbing. So uh, just a couple minutes ago, I mentioned how we uh, used to play Deep Rock Galactic on Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I this is no this is no lie. Um, I always have Twitter up on my left hand side in my browser window, so I just scrolled down and guess what ad just came up? Oh, I feel no. like <laughs> I feel like I mean, we've always heard right? your phone's listening to you. Now I got my phone over here. I got a microphone in my mouth. Um, so Facebook or whoever's listening to me, stop it. I don't like that. Please never do that again. It's too scary. All right, we can go to the next thing. The internet is following Travis. Uh, like that, that is scary stuff. Uh, 
I've lost my train of thought. Where were we? we oh, we were talking about ham radio, uh, funnily enough. Dan, our community manager, posts a tweet out every single week, and he uh, asked people to describe their niche using emojis only this week. And obviously, ham radio won uh, with that perfect description That's of his perfect. niche with those emojis. So we're going to audit their channel now, if I can find it. I, oh, have I lost it? Let me just pick it up. There we go. I found it. So let's take a look at, oh, Cheeky. He's added his subscription link uh, to his Twitter feed. So we're looking at Ham Radio DX. And I think, Jay, this is another one where where you'd look at the thumbnails on the surface and think, well, they're a bit busy or there's, there's no consistency, but does it match the genre of the the ham radio space on, on yeah. youtube and uh, it probably does uh, this channel has approaching ten thousand subscribers um it looks as if they're just covering all things about ham radios which uh, i guess are still a thing in uh, the 2020s what's but, a ham um, radio <laughs> i thought you might ask that question um travis are you the best person to ask about this they're like um transistor radio so you can pick up signals from yeah, stuff it's like, like um, air traffic way. control and, and yeah. whatnot. It's close to like a CB in a weird way, um, but it's it's antiquated technology. It's not something that a lot of people use, but the the people who still use that and CB, like my dad still uses CBs, um, they love it. And it's there's a it, not a not a necessarily super large group of people, but very dedicated. So the mm -hmm. nice thing about that is is like being able to get that audience to come back because there's not a tremendous amount of YouTube channels is actually not too yeah. difficult. So it's a CB. A CB? Uh, CB right now. CB, yeah. She might That's not know good. what a CD is either. I mean, it, she's not that old. She's pretty young. <laughs> it's like a CD? What's a CD? No. Um, uh, a radio. So in other words, I, we'll, we'll get back. We'll show you. <laughs> I think an example might be this one where the, with, with, one of these, with one of these um, radios, you can tune into basically any f radio frequency so we can listen to what's going on in the International Space Station. I think oh. in just the broadest sense of a term, I think it's obviously... A little more nuanced than that. The CB was the internet before the internet was the internet. Yeah, yeah, that might be a good way of describing it. it. Uh, audio it's, version, or it was Clubhouse before Clubhouse. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Ancient Clubhouse. The ham radios, like you can get crazy with them too. They're there's just so hobbyists like love these things. You can you can go as light or as heavy as you want in terms of the things you buy. Uh, you know, people put these antennas on their roof trying to get better and better signals so they can reach across the globe with it. Uh, it's so you can just you, this this is like a really in-depth niche but i imagine very very niche i like travis said i can't <laughs> probably not too many people using these in the grand scheme of things these days but but for this channel it's uh, sort of our most popular uh again i think similar to the lawnmower channel that they, they can cover different pieces of equipment in extreme detail and when somebody's searching specifically for that equipment I guess they're ranking very highly in the search terms for that piece of equipment. So again, I'm thinking, is there an opportunity to maybe branch out and try and introduce a uh, ham radio to the complete beginner uh, enthusiast to, uh, are there any sort of listicle type of videos? And let's just, again, let's just do a quick search for ham radio and see what comes up. I wonder if there's going to be any meme channels. At this point. Oh, there aren't any. So, I mean, Linus has done one uh, in the past, just a, a beginner's guide to to ham radio. And then ham radio basics. I feel as if there's opportunities here for maybe this channel to create. <laughs> well, how would you call these entry point pieces of videos where a much broader audience is going to be exposed to this and it may allow them to understand what ham radio is and then they know that if they want further information about this particular piece of technology then our hero channel is a place to go to and as we were saying the thumbnails are all very of a very similar somewhat busy chaotic um fashion lots of text uh pieces big images of, of equipment that type of thing so i think generally this channel is just doing really well aren't they the the They've got a, a good subscriber count. Each video is getting uh, a couple of thousand views, which is very promising. Is there anything we could potentially suggest other than broader based, more appealing piece of content? I mean, they're getting good views. It's it's yeah. hard. I mean, yeah, I think they have a general idea. Just look at what's working on your channel and hit it, nail that thing to the wall. 
Like, I just had an idea. This is like if you really want oh. that entry point content. But like BuzzFeed and I don't know who else makes these types of videos, but it's like you could do it because I don't know what a ham radio was. Like you could just do a video if you want to experiment with like explaining a ham radio to like a five-year-old, a teenager. To, to Jed. Like, <laughs> to, oh, to me, basically to me. But like, you, cause BuzzFeed has this video where it's like explaining blockchain to five different age groups. And it gets, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you could do something a bit more on like the entertainment and entry point side to really bring in a mainstream audience. Of course, I'm not gonna watch your detailed stuff, but it might grow the channel to a larger point. Yeah, like yeah. how a teenager will use a ham radio for the first time and don't tell them how to use it or something. I mean, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd be can, down. Can a millennial work out how to use a ham radio? Exactly. Yeah, That'd be I, I kind of like that don't, idea. Do you need a license though? I don't think you can just put a, a kid on a radio and uh, go. <laughs> that's no not that, that's not our problem. That's not. We just suggest <laughs> the ideas. All right, then. I think now would be the perfect opportunity to just quickly in show you our uh, means of a week, which I forgot to do earlier on. So uh, let me just load up this video. And here are the memes that we had this week. I don't know if you lot are going to stay on screen. I'm just going to play, see what happens. doing much singing and dancing so i think we're good well i can always try we did that once and you certainly didn't like it yeah yeah i don't think they did either i think everyone just I left believe i can fly And there you are, the uh, memes of the week. Now, usually we would do memes of the week with our guests this week, Jade, but I, you do have to leave pretty soon. Oh, wait, no, soon. I want to say for memes of the week. Oh, you you want them? <laughs> I All want right, them. Yes, I want them. Right, hang on then. Right there, so there you go. Jade is now full screen, so this is where you take screenshots, pictures, do whatever you want, and then meme them up in the next half an hour. Jonk, I'm sure you're watching, so if you want to do another animated one, then please do. Uh, and then we will return to these a little later on in the show as we move into the second hour. Well, Jade is just giving you everything. I mean, there's about 30 different poses that uh, you could do with that. Uh, and so, yeah, start making your <laughs> memes and tweets and whatever, and we'll, we'll see what we can come up with uh, in a very near future. Hashtag channel audits on Twitter, and we'll take a look very, very soon. Right, let's try and get everybody back on screen. Let's start sharing my screen. That's gonna be and fun. Let's move to the next channel, which is Matthew Harris, PLLC. Who, did someone pick this, or was this my pick? I'm trying to I remember. Did. All right, it? Travis. It looks like a TV show, look at that. Isn't, isn't it like Law and Order? Dun dun. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh, someone's getting a call. I think Jade has to leave in like five minutes, so you should show her channel and stuff first, Rob. Uh, do you need to leave very soon, Jade? Is that right? I haven't yeah, heard I the do. animal noise. All right, okay. So just before we look at Matthew Harris's uh, channel, uh, of course, Jade, as always, thank you for joining us. I'm sure we'll see you uh, again soon as well. But just share a little bit about who you are on YouTube because I want to find the right channel. There you are. Uh, well, you make videos on the creator economy, but what does that actually mean? Yeah, so I mostly talk about the monetization strategies in Web 2 on the internet, but also I talk about crypto and how to make money in Web 3, which is kind of like this new market for creators. So you'll see me talk about, you know, influencers and how they monetize, but also what you guys should keep out for as a creator monetizing your way through this industry. Um, and yeah, I also run a company called X8 Media, so I'll sometimes do some startup vlogs of me running my business. So that's my channel. So if you need help monetizing or just learning how to run a business, I'm your bestie. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was just wondering, let's have a very quick look. Because the question I would be asking you now is, if anybody's managed to do this in double quick time, is has anyone managed to make one yet? Uh, no, that's just me dancing. Okay. Wow. 
<laughs> uh, we should. What is going on there? I was going to say, I'm if any done, like, what's going if, on there? If anybody had done any tweets uh, of you yeah. yet, Jada, like, could we sell them as NFTs? Uh, <laughs> Gosh, <of> yes. <laughs> Let's get back to Matthew Harris Law then. So, Travis, uh, why have we picked this one? Because it's different. And uh, it's so drastically different from anything we've done before, like a law channel. Um, I kind of wanted to, to look into this and see what was uh, what going on. Uh, now, it is interesting, though, that you'll see some of these like three weeks ago and, two weeks, and one week ago have a lot of views considering how many subscribers they have. Now, this could be one of two things. So my guess is this is a funnel for the actual... Uh, business, which means they might be using advertising for this, and that's kind of normal. Yeah. Uh, but also, it could be organic views too. This is the thing: is you, it's hard to know for sure because some of this stuff is how to choose an attorney is a great subject for a video. Uh, but you will find a lot of these uh, type of businesses will advertise on it because it's they're advertising your business, which is a good use of AdSense um, or not AdSense, uh, AdWords. And what so, makes this even tricky to work out whether it's paid or organic is that. The engagement is generally low, like 50 likes and 17 comments for seven and a half thousand views. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest, who gets really excited and engages in conversation right. about do I need to write a will? Right. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 it's difficult to work out um, where the loyalty and regular viewers are going to come from for a channel such as this. So my guess is, because I work with a lot of companies uh, that do this for their YouTube channel, they use it as a funnel for their business. Yeah. Um, yeah. You do want to kind of keep it um, kind of straight laced. Uh, I, I have a lot of interesting ideas for entertainment wise to bring more people in. But my guess is this is really just a straight laced channel. You just want to get some information out there. And if you want more, you reach out to them and, and hire them, which is great. Um, the uh, how to avoid an uh, attorney thumbnail and how to choose an attorney thumbnail. I actually kind of like how to avoid jury, sorry, duty. And how to, I just don't I just don't look at my mail is how I avoid it. Um, <laughs> and the uh, the how to choose an attorney, it, I think those are appropriate thumbnails for what exactly it is. And uh, it looks like they've done some shorts too. I wonder though, no, that isn't a short. What that's just a thumbnail style picture or yeah. Yeah, I don't know that that's necessarily something you want an eight minute video that's in portrait. I would yeah that's probably right. do that. I would um has anyone heard of Do uh, Lawyer Mike? Lawyer by Mike on TikTok? Mm -mm. Lawyer by Mike has like 5 million followers for a lawyer. It's insane. Like I would honestly just remake his TikToks into, into your guys' version and expertise. Like the way he words things are very relatable to an average human. Like for example, you know, five signs uh, or like things everyone gets wrong about this law or this can save you from a bad lawyer. Like he words things in a very like, it's called um, Lawyer by Mike. But um, like, it's just really interesting. So I would honestly like try to experiment with like your, your, the way you go about content. It doesn't have to be solely educational. It could be like, you know, this is a entertainment channel. Um, so like you could also like react to certain cases. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use legal legal all the time when I'm talking to creators about how to step outside their niche to bring in more people. But again, it really depends on what the actual use of the channel is. And if it's, um, if it's to just kind of be YouTube famous or whatever, that's one thing. If it's to bring in people, then you want people to understand the value behind what you're doing. And when it comes to law, if you're in there joking and reacting to things, I'm probably not going to hire you. So it just depends on what the end result is. Emily is a great example of how she can get into the, the, a larger group of viewership that are interested in a large thing yet still come across very, um, very legalese or whatever. The yeah. Word. Yeah, I've, I've just brought those two examples because they're, they're uh, examples of how they've taken the, as you say, Travis, a fairly dry topic that you only ever need to know about when you you have issue, you need something to resolve, and they take it into the entertainment uh, and I guess edutainment as well because you you learn a lot of stuff about law uh, when you watch these two channels. Um, so uh, yeah, just going back to the Hero Channel, if I can. Find them. Uh, yeah. Just looking at the final. These were the most popular videos that I saw. And I, yeah. I like there, there is examples here where they've just made basically trying to look for the top legal and lawyer questions that are asked and answering them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also like Jade's point of uh, there's no, it, there's nothing wrong with maybe revisiting these topics yep. uh, once you've upped your production skills and uh, and whatnot and thumbnail skills and pitching them again to the audience because there's always going to be people searching for answers to these legal questions. 
Sorry, Travis, were you going to say something? There? No, 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 that's fine. I think I totally agree with that, 100%. Um, I keep thinking that says, do you even need a we? <laughs> Which I would say no, not now. It just says, do you even need a will? But it looks like we. Like, do you need a Nintendo we? Probably not. I'm trying to find which one that is. This Oh, because of a double I. That one. Yeah. Your mind works in strange and wonderful ways sometimes. Yeah. Travis. sometimes. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do this one more time. Have we got anything yet for Jay to take a look at? Uh, here we go. Oh, we've there we some, go. We've oh got some God. stuff here. We've got some stuff here. All right. Just, just a couple so far, but I'm sure we'll have more very, very soon. Uh, Thank you, guys. The memes of the week are so fun. I love them so much. I'll make sure uh, we get a video ready for you uh, next week, Jade. And yeah, we're looking to sell this for $3.2 million as an NFT. <laughs> hey, where's my cut? All right. Love All guys. right. Uh, take care, Jade. See you later. All right. So that, there goes Jade. Now, what I'm going to try and do here, because Jeff has been sending me messages in... Um, outside so i'm going to invite him in i don't know if he's still watching but if he wants to join us he's more than welcome to so i'll just send him a link to see if he wants to join us here and uh, since i think he's watching the stream uh, but we'll move on to the next channel uh which i think is some shout outs uh, yeah we're on to shout outs now this is where uh we're not necessarily going to audit your channel uh we're just going to say hello uh because we like to welcome as many uh visitors into our live stream as possible because we know a lot of people submit but it doesn't discount you from being selected later on in the random portion of our live stream so dan uh you've been quiet you've had a bit of a rest so i'll let you start with this channel we're just shouting them out they are game boy jones game boy jones i like the style of this channel already all right now it says game boy jones and i'm seeing anime so i don't know if there's like a Naruto Game Boy game, or if it's just a cool name with a channel that's not really related to it. Uh, is that my one piece of advice? I'm I'm not quite <laughs> sure. <laughs> I I like the uh, I like the the channel art and the banner and avatar, and I do like the name. I just don't know if it fits. I'm just not exactly sure what I'm looking at. I think I, but just... the views and the consistency and the thumbnails and everything else, I wouldn't really worry about what I have to say. Yeah, I think this is just the artist name. So I think you can forgive them for maybe having Gay Boy in there. And it looks as if they're doing um, remixes and compilations of, of rap music uh, from anime. And as you say, Dan, it's difficult to offer really any advice because they're crushing it yeah. uh, with the content that they make. I mean, we're going to sort, we'd be sorting by most popular and seeing if there's any particular sort of anime uh, style or characters that do well on your content and, and maybe. Uh, revisit i guess the thumbnails look a little bit different here as they did uh now uh and maybe the word rap is a lot more clear in them as opposed to now maybe they're a little bit more busy but i don't know you'd have to test and see if that does really impact the click through rate travis say hello to protocol 36 because uh, the other 35 protocols couldn't be here today we thank you for coming in today um what is this uh Oh, you know what Protocol 36 is? It has something to do with, like, Marvel something. It's a Marvel thing, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. It's something nerd-related. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, no, cool. It looks like you're looking at different the new Spider-Man stuff, some Spider-Man uh, news, some really kind of... There's a lot going on in these thumbnails. Like, you can see some stuff, but it's not super clear. It's, like, so much in there. But other than that, like, you know what type of content you're going to get from this channel, which I always appreciate. It's not like you have to guess. So uh, Protocol 36, and of course, if you know what that means, then you know why you should subscribe. Yeah, I agree with you there in terms of the thumbnails are very artistic, but they're not necessarily thumbnail friendly. So perhaps simplifying them a little bit and providing a bit of context, like what I'm actually getting out of the, these videos from the thumbnails. I'm going to say hello to the Kato twins. Uh, they are making recipes, motivation, and life, and they are killing it. They're up to nearly 30,000 subscribers on their channel. And I think uh, a couple uh, or a duo creator always adds a, a bit of, uh, I guess, uniqueness and intrigue to the channel. And it certainly helps with uh, division of labor as well, where two people can film, edit and publish. I, I, sometimes I would really uh, need that on some days. And yeah, I think the, the channel's doing really well. Uh, the view counts are strong. Uh, let's just sort by most popular. I'm just wondering if there's any particular Kato diets or in, maybe indeed 
challenges that they're doing that are really working for the channel. Nothing actually breaking out that much, which is really encouraging. You've got a really solid foundation of a channel, uh, which is good to see there. So congratulations to the Cato twins. Um, yeah, maybe we'll uh, be auditing your channel properly later. And uh, now we're going to look at this channel, Dan, which is? It's Sit Gaming. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, let's see here. It looks like they're playing a lot of Call of Duty, which I like to see. Uh, view counts are on their shorts pretty good, but when they test long-form content, uh, they tend not to get nearly as many views, which I know for short creators can be frustrating. My one piece of advice to you would be to do a, you know, if you want to try this, you can try a long run with a whole bunch of shorts, uh, get kind of a rhythm down for, you know, not just consistency in your day-to-day -day uploads, but your rhythm in the type of shorts you're making, right? And try and build your audience that way for a bit. See if the same thing happens to you that happened to Block Facts, where you start getting a ton of views from Browse and suddenly realize that, wow, I have a lot of returning viewers here, and then maybe go back to testing some long-form videos. It's one strategy. It's not the only strategy, but it is one that I've seen work for multiple creators. And uh, Travis, your next shout-out is to... HT Bros Club. What's up, bros? Yo, bros. Hit that subscribe, like, and share. You gotta hit them all, HT Bros Club. Uh, because, because... Because it tells you to. That's why. And it uh, looks like we got a bunch of videos here with various things going on. Uh, I don't know what the HT bros are, but uh, there appears to be at least one of them. And uh, a little bit all over the place with the content. But um, look, he said in the in the banner, you got to hit that like, subscribe, and share. So I suppose that's what you should do when you go over to the HT bros club. Yeah, just the channel still figuring out um, what they want to do on YouTube. We, nothing wrong with that. Although I am curious as to why this like this is here. It's almost like you've put it in a banner and you're thinking, actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to be a tutorial and handmade crafts channel. So I'm just going to slice off. the. I'm going to crop the bottom of the wording. And I don't see any of that actual stuff on the channel. So, yeah, maybe the channel banner needs a little bit of an update there. But that is HT Bros Club. And I'm going to say to, hello to Yuna love games and you've just cracked 1000 subscribers which is awesome to see well done there you've got a couple of outlier videos here look at that 4000 uh, views on this one uh, is that a short i'm not entirely sure i think it might be i guess the one thing that i'm going to say is that you have very spiky views like 1000 subscribers and then a video that's half an hour long only has 13 views so is there a, a trend or theme that can go through your content? I mean, you have lots of examples here of videos that have got a couple of thousand views. So maybe analyzing the data from those particular videos is going to help guide you forward uh, in a long run, just to prevent all of these videos that have like 19 views and then 10 views. But then you have videos that have 800 views and 900 views. There's, there seems to be a bit of a disconnect there between how your content is being shared and discovered on YouTube. And that is Una Love Games. All right, then. I think we now have a good 45 minutes yeah. to go into the random phase of the uh, channel audit. See, all right there, Travis? So you, I, just you know, saw, saw I just saw Junk put something on Twitter. So, <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get there soon. Uh, let's audit another channel. Hang on. Wow. I think, I'm, I think I've been a bit ambitious with how many channels might be being selected. Hold up. And, hang on. So what we do at this point is we have these two forms here. Uh, a non-gaming channel and gaming channel form, and you're both at about 350 submissions. So if I set the number to that, we should actually pick a number which exists in our list, and that number is going to be 43. So we'll pick this channel out first. And this is where we're not sure what we're coming into. These are very first impressions. So the channel we are looking at here is CR7 Productions. It Seems to suggest that it might be a Cristiano Ronaldo appreciation channel uh, because that is what CR7 relates to. But then when I look at the content itself, there's a mix of all sorts of things. We've got something about Christian Eriksen, who is a Danish footballer who actually had a cardiac arrest on a pitch playing oh. football last week. But he, he, he has recovered and he's fine. Uh, but it was a, a big issue when it went off. Uh, and I'm seeing a lot of football news stories. Um, 
on the channel, a lot of short content as well. I do feel tempted to just click on one of these just to get an idea of the contents, see what's coming up. Okay, so that was my concern. Uh, how much of this is your original content? And I'm not sure what the answer is to that. I'm just going to do another example here. And again, is this just content listed, lifted from elsewhere? And are you making it transformational in any way? And is my internet going to work? <laughs> These are all burning questions that need to be answered. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, you have to be careful because, again, when you have videos like this, um, and it's not clearly fair use. And even if it is fair, clearly fair use, it, your channel can get taken down. And it's worse when it happens when you're a rather large channel and you're making any kind of money uh, and it becomes part of your livelihood. Then you're wishing that you had never done, uh, you had uh, built your business on a stack of cards. So yeah, I, I'd be careful. <clears throat> well, my internet just doesn't seem to want to work for actually playing videos. Maybe it's do me a favor uh, by not playing potentially copyright content. The other big um, challenge here is that if you're just using somebody else's content, what differentiates you from other content creators that are doing similar things or, or news channels? Uh, but I think the best person to answer this is uh, El Jefe, who's joined us for the last 45 minutes here. Hey, Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing okay, man. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us for the last hour. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. Uh, any thoughts on this one or... Uh, no, not much, man. I was I was just control. stepping in. I was getting oh, myself right, okay. together, so I didn't have it up on the screen. All right, Dan, do you, are you sort of agreeing with us here that we're not I, really sure where we can go with this? I mostly agree. I, I th well, most I fully agree. the The thing I guess I would add is uh, this creator to make sure this content is more transformative needs to find something else to put on the screen that they have the rights to, whether it's them on camera or. Like if you go to a service and get some stock footage to help fill those gaps, because you can probably use some of these clips in a transformative way. But when you use your when your entire video is clips that you don't own, you're putting yourself at a lot of risk there. And I guess the other thing is if, you know, we put all of that aside, is this a channel about one team? Is it about the entire sport? Yeah. We see a lot of channels find success when they try and like start by covering a team a club you know and that's that's going to be somewhere where you can consider you know it's it's kind of this channel is for fans of the entire support sport right now and it's just kind of casting a very wide net yeah and th what i'm seeing is like you're putting a watermark over your videos as if to suggest that it is your content and it just doesn't seem to be at all um but we haven't got the audio on i don't know if you're adding any commentary to this or something that's going to add a little bit more but it, yeah it just seems to be one that where you're going to be hit with reused content if you ever get um near monetization unfortunately why are the referees playing i don't understand uh <laughs> no that was juventus who wear who wear black and white well that's just ridiculous not not all um football teams That'll well referees wear off. green these days what? um travis what a weird I don't sport. think they've ever worn black and white actually in football. It's either been black or now green tends to be the color. Oh. But yeah, interesting American viewpoint there. Um, let's move on to the next channel, which is going to be, yeah, we're randomly picking one here. And this is going to be a gaming channel. But uh, since I would like Jeff to get into the action, uh, I'm going to be asking for your thoughts on this one, Jeff, as well, if you don't mind. Uh, we are looking at iCraft MC. So just general thoughts from you, Jeff, and then maybe Dan can chime in with some of his gaming expertise. All right. So let's see here. What are we looking at? So Minecraft from the looks of it. Sorry, I got to blow this screen up because on, on here it's a little bit small. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm realizing now that's one of the challenges where I need to make it full screen to help you a lot. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. Let's see. What are we looking at? So, hey, not bad. I mean, some of these are actually, well, some of the shorts have done pretty well from the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> excuse me so minecraft 1.17 turning my day okay interesting interesting now i don't know if this is the norm for minecraft channel thumbnails i'm not sure if that's exactly the norm for it but some of them are a little bit on the dark side i mean um i don't know if dan wants to chime in but do they look a little dark to me or is that just because i'm wearing sunglasses 
it, it <laughs> might be your sunglasses. They the brightness isn't well. Some of them are darker than others. I would yeah. I would say they benefit from some saturation, some brightness, some contrast. Yeah, just something to kind of pump them up just a little bit. Um, I'm liking the fact that they're doing some how-to content, which is nice. Um, I, what I don't like is that some of it is... Um, now, I don't know if that's normal for the titling, because they're doing how to make a Japanese door, but they're putting Minecraft ahead of it. And maybe it should be more human mm -hmm. sentence-wise, like how to make a Japanese door in Minecraft, maybe? Um, just something a little bit weird about the titles, but I don't know if that's the normal thing for this niche. It would you'd want to reverse that for sure. I mean, yeah. Minecraft 117 is is for mostly for SEO purposes. Everyone who looks at the thumbnail and title should have an idea of what game it is by now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. But uh, overall, yeah, I mean, it looks. I mean, 631. They're doing okay, but um, I like the how-to stuff. That's stuff that can definitely, definitely help. Yeah, looks like how-to shorts uh, too. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, if you can do, cut it down and do it really quickly, then yeah, heck yeah. Now, D Dan, maybe the one thing they want to be thinking about here is doing some how-tos, but not necessarily shorts. Maybe experiment with uh, one, one and a half minute landscape videos. Because um, we've, we've been seeing channels have more and more success with that as shorts have got more and more competitive, where there's just so many, so many people jumping into that space right now. Yeah. I, I mean, I can see where they're going with these banners. That's why these are the most popular videos. You know what I mean? It's it, the banners are kind of complicated to make that you can just keep layering stuff upon, you know, yeah. stuff upon stuff. So there's a lot there to see. And you could you could take a banner that took you a while to make and speed it up. I don't think you even need all the how to trimmings on this video. I don't think you need how to in the thumbnail. I don't think you need how to in the title. Uh, you know, I made a zombie banner in Minecraft, you know, 117. Uh, I I made a watermelon banner. It, it I, I think we can get a little creative here with the titles. Uh, just in my own testing, it, it's not necessary all the time, depending on what you're doing, saying how to. So, so I think that the most crucial thing we've learned here is that iCraft MC, your typical viewer is this, somebody who's wearing <laughs> sunglasses. So you really need to have those thumbnails popping and be really vi vibrant. Um, so, so do be aware of that. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Jeff. Thanks. thanks I, but let's real quick though. Let's talk yeah. about the things they're they are doing right. We sure. did mention many times in many of these audits that if you're going to do an episodic kind of let's play, make that about something. Like, don't don't just True. make True. Minecraft episode 105. What the heck happened in it? So, I think some some minor tweaks in the title and thumbnail of this latest video. This is what I'm looking at right now would have and it's only been three hours old three hours so let's you know let's see what it does but it's still not too late i would take minecraft 117 slap it at the end of the title and then turning my dam into an amazing okay it got truncated when you move minecraft 117 we'll get to see what that is but maybe the title is still a little bit too long the thumbnail i i cannot tell what's going on i see the number yeah. i see your character in the corner almost and then there's like, it looks like it's underwater. That's where kind of like Jeff was saying, these thumbnails look a little dark. I would agree that one looks dark. It, I would get get an image of one thing, even if it's not the full picture, something that gets people to uh, give them that light bulb moment of like, oh, that look, that looks cool. I want to see how to make that and try that out. The The last thing I'd say is 20 minutes for a you know brand new, not brand new, but a channel of your size. Maybe try playing with your, length on these videos see what you can cut out get them a little bit shorter and try to get up to those higher watch times a little bit later on i, I think you may benefit yeah. from maybe five minutes shorter it'd be good to look at um your audience retention and maybe in the first 30 seconds like if you've lost more than half of your audience potentially in the first 30 seconds and you got a 20 minute video then just understand how few people may be actually watching your content towards the end uh, of, of the videos. And so, yeah. and as a last tip, and we haven't seen any of your videos, maybe you're already doing this, see about ditching your intro. A lot mm -hmm. of channels that look just like yours have these really long meandering intros. Get right into the action. Maybe even introduce yourself in the first three minutes rather than the first 30 seconds. Uh, but see if you can pull people in immediately. Yeah. Next. Next up, we have Jim Farhard Digital. Uh, you've just cracked 5,000 subscribers. Looks like you are going to help us create a successful website. And this is how you're going to do it. Uh, again, I'll just open the floor up to whoever wants to start on this one first. 
What's going on here? Uh, you you, you <laughs> lot really do need to me to. I thought to Jeff was going to jump on it because he hasn't been here all day. I figured maybe he was <laughs> to jump in on him. No, no, no worries, no worries. So yeah, I'm looking at this one like the latest, uh, the latest one, which is how to make a responsive website using Elementor. Um, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if the green is because of Elementor. Maybe that's their um, logo colors or what's kind of going on there. And I'm I'm assuming I'm seeing an Elementor logo there, but I probably would have bumped it up a little bit bigger if anything. I think it's Starbucks that I think it's. Um, oh, it's always on Starbucks. That's why he's going with the green. Yeah, if you're using Starbucks as an example, let me just Got zoom it. in a bit further to help you guys. Is that, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. So that's something where I think if we're ever talking about a, a particular type of software, this is where I'd be looking at um, the way that Adobe channels or like Photoshop or um, Premiere Pro channels do, where they always include the logo for the particular product that they're using. And that doesn't just apply to Adobe. You'll see this for DaVinci. You'll see this for Final Cut. You'll see this for um, even, you know, people doing stuff on um, on the music side. So putting the logo of the software to make it very obvious exactly what it is that you're talking about. Um, mm -hmm. That way there's no confusion because you don't want somebody to think that maybe this is a Starbucks video, even though you're using that as the example. So I just thought about most popular to see if there's a particular web program that they perform better in because i'm seeing elementor i've also seen wordpress a little bit uh -huh. but as you say um jeff because they're not using like a consistent color scheme or indeed the logo it's not i can't immediately tell that, oh this video is about wordpress like this one here which i uh -huh. think is about wordpress you only know that from the title and the thumbnail has got to stop somebody scrolling first Right. Uh, so having a big WordPress uh, image, maybe in the top left or bottom left hand corner, would just help a little bit there. Yeah, it's something that I've seen work a lot when I was trying to, which I, I failed at miserably, when I was trying to learn Adobe Premiere Pro, when I was looking at the tutorials, that was something that really caught my eye was um, how, the use of the logo in the thumbnails, which I was like, okay, because then you know immediately, like this gentleman has it, not very big, but he's got it in there. So um, that's definitely something that I would think about incorporating. Very clean that thumbnail though, isn't it? You can, oh, yeah. you can definitely see that logo uh, straight away on there. I'm just mm -hmm. scrolling down some examples of Elementor. So using the color scheme as well of the, the purples and the blues there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there, there are some good examples. Yeah, this little like, thumbnail, uh, little thumbnail research comes in handy. You know, before we yeah. make a video, and this is for everybody. You know, this is for everybody. Whenever you're gonna, you're gonna go after a certain specific topic. You know, do a little bit of search, do a little bit of research. Look what those top thumbnails are. Um, to kind of give you an idea of what, you know, is actually getting people to click on it. Yeah. And then this most recent stuff, there's some view spiking here, like a couple of videos, I've got 2000 views, but then you're all the way down to 300 views. Mm -hmm. That's just an example of the, re the viewers who are associating with your content are really being are really picky about that, what they want to watch. And you're just not hitting that audience all of the time with all of your content. So again, how do you refine that to get them to return to all of your content is uh, something to, as Jeff said, just research a little bit more on. Dan, Travis, you got any more final words or should we move on to the next one? We should get to, we're in the 30 minutes, we start getting to some memes real quick, I think. All right then, Travis, let's do that then. So um, hopefully a lot of you have had time to, who uh, give us your jade memes? There's some good ones. And see what we have. Nice, uh, good ones. <laughs> That's interesting. What is that? Oh, unreveal the credit card. Me, uh, credit card number reveal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the second, the third one's good. The not you again is a good one. <laughs> Love that one. Uh, this one's okay. okay. The, this next one is really funny, but it's kind of like the the bang bang one. I click that to make it bigger. Oh, <laughs> oh I, don't if I, I don't know. I don't know if I approve of that. Know, it's hilarious. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so the next good one is uh, is the one underneath this one, I, and I think we should pick this one, Joshua. Click that. That's a good one. <laughs> I think that's a good one. <laughs> Put the channel on it. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. That, that's that, that's sad. I guess. Uh, I guess uh, Joshua Val. Um, Vandervelde has had to screenshot his own channel to get that. 
So yeah, may, maybe uh, Josh needs a bit of help on his channel. So uh, let's take a look if we uh, if we can. Oh man, Jade is the best for the memes of the week. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and so uh, free guitar lessons. We always like free guitar lessons or providing stuff a free value. But um, what do we think of these really in your face, colorful thumbnails? I think they maybe work for some type of channel. So most of the channel. Most of the guitar stuff and, and stuff we see is has a picture of the guitar and maybe the fingers on the frets. Yeah, on the, yeah, the, lo the lo-fi jazz channel jazz chords is just text across. Like I think they couldn't think of an idea. Um, is that a shot it, though? Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. fair. All right. Well, then for other ones, I, I would say the same thing, like a minor backing track and stuff. You kind of need to have something that's a little bit more visual, I think, to really uh, help it out. Um, Let's just do a quick I love the KMC. Thing. I think that's funny. Let's do a quick search on the B6. Yeah, this is what you're normally going to see. This is what we're kind of familiar with in this space. Now, maybe the creator is trying to just do something a little bit different here to stand out. Um, but just if I was scrolling past that thumbnail, I, I just don't think it has enough credibility for me to. Oh, that's another shot, though, as well. But even the ones that aren't shorts are of a similar style. Yeah, I just think that you should experiment a little bit. And I really think that using kind of what it established, what is already established and works is a good way to go. I think I could be wrong. Yeah. That's what I would start with. And their most successful content is, I think, cover versions of stuff that they've been doing. Uh, all of this was from about six months ago. So he had a nice little run there of cover version content that was doing well. But maybe that's not where you want your channel to ultimately be. It feels as if you want to be an educational guitar channel. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you need to think about unlisting them if it's bringing in the wrong audience. Because there's definitely a clear, def clear def um, definitive line between a viewer who wants to listen to somebody playing a popular track or a cover version versus somebody who wants to actually learn how to play the guitar. of two very different audiences. And it might be that these videos are attracting in a certain audience and then you publish the educational stuff and they're just not interested in any of that at all. So there may be a, a difficult question there to answer about whether you want to keep these videos running on your channel if they are bringing people into, into your content. Agreed. Any other thoughts on this one, or shall we move on to the next? I think we'll go down. The next video is a junk is the junk video. I think we should watch that. That's All good. right, but uh, a problem is I haven't set it to for people oh. to be able to listen to it. Yeah, because you have to check. Well, that's easy. You just stop the share and then hit right. the share. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm right. Saying, not that just, I'm saying. Hang on. All right. Let me just do it again. So, uh, First world problems. That's this, is, all. this is this is a Brady bunch. Like, uh, we're <laughs> and stuff. That's and, right. You guys uh, set the doorbell too, so when people come in, you know, it's ding dong. You can hear them come in. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> share screen, share audio, and then we need to do. Where were we? It was that one, wasn't it? All right. So I'm going to try this now. Let's hopefully check that this works. So this is Jonk's latest animation. Oh, nope. I don't hear it. Don't hear it. You can't hear it? No. Well, I just sure. turned on the audio. What? Can you hear it? <laughs> I heard it. All right, let me try this again. One more time. Yeah. Share screen. Check share mark. audio. Share audio. Oh, you can't do it? Why? Right, okay. You have to do... You can only share audio on the entire screen, so... Oh, yeah, so just... That's fine. We don't need to look right. at it. Okay. Okay, right. Got it. Right. So here we go. This, this is it. Let me rewind it. Here we go again. She's back. Rob is going to try and catch me out, but I know he's going to do Jade for Meme of the Week. It says one hour later, not I hour later. Come on, Rob. Don't let me down. I want to show you all Jade's stick, man. Oh, wait, no, I want to say her Memes of the Week. No, Jade. Oh, you you want them? No, Rob. <laughs> I all want right, them. Yes, I want them. No, I was joking. I was drawing a roller coaster. She's back. <laughs> Rob is going to try and catch me out. But How does he manage to clip all of the audio? The same, I don't well. know. It's that so just... fast. And that's been up for a while. It's been yeah. up. For a while. It was so fast. 21 minutes ago. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, right. Uh, I should mention, by the way, um, there's a bit of a, a junk. Uh, junk and I have been working on something in the background, and hopefully oh. I'm going to be able to reveal this. 
I don't know, next week or in a couple of weeks, uh, but I'll kind of keep it a bit of a secret for now. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, right. uh, a collab between Rob Wilson and A bit, and a bit of a collab, yeah, kind of a, a bit of a collab. I'm going to say a collab slash possible merch, but we'll see uh, <laughs> where, where that goes. Uh, mm-hmm. Right, so I need to start sharing my screen again. Mm-hmm. All right, that's all working now, isn't it? So yeah. the next channel we're going to pick is, what, what did we just audit? We audited a guitar channel, so we're onto a gaming channel this time. Let's see what we have. It is Cyan. Skyan is the next channel we're looking at. And Dan, they look like this. Fortnite channel. All right. There we go. First of a day, I okay. think. First of for a while, I think. I mean, yeah. since I've been here. So we're getting some consistent views, 40, 50 range, except the latest video is kind of taken off. Yeah, I'm intrigued by that one. I'm wondering if there's too. potential there to do uh, skin comparisons on Fortnite between previous years and stuff. I know that's like super niche, but like if you're the go-to channel to see how the Fortnite's evolved in different ways in terms of skins, uh, that might be something to the, drill down into a bit. The channels we've been celebrating the most lately are super niche. I mean, I, Blockfax has been my example of the year, I think, and that's it couldn't be more niche than that. So... Yeah, let's see what else we have here. My car is... These are the most popular ones, Dan. I was just seeing if there's any themes or patterns. Shorts uh, in in those first four. We have a three-minute video. Hang on. Just a sec. I want to see this character. He uses this character a lot in his thumbnails. But it's also in the thumbnails that don't perform as well. So I was just wondering if that was a... Interesting. It, I'm guessing that would be instead of putting their own face there, that's their character of choice. You know, possibly that's yeah. kind of their, the equivalent yeah. of putting themselves in it. I I would uh, maybe test not using it because like some of your most popular videos, although they're shorts, don't have them there. And then the Thanos one, which which kind of uh, is taking off for you a little bit, doesn't have your character there. So it's just one more thing to draw people's attention away from the focus uh, that you want them to be, you know, looking at. Mm-hmm. So just kind of that's just a tweak, though. For the most part, I think a channel like this, and you're experimenting, which is really, really good. And a channel like this needs to do more experimentation and try different styles of content. Whether or not you think you can, you know, go the distance with, you know, the skin comparisons, for example, it's worth trying anyway. Because if it takes off, it it's going to give you some good data points, and you can kind of decide from there. Okay, I have some other ideas that are similar to this. Maybe I could try, you know, playing around a little bit more. But if you want to grow a Fortnite channel today in 2021, you, this is what you need to be doing. You you need to be tackling the game in ways that other people are not tackling it, or at least not as many people. So if it's just you doing your, you know, game of the day, right? And maybe you you got some cool headshots and you kind of compiled them and made it a snappy cool video. That video could be good. It's just you're competing in this huge ocean of other creators, you can stand out a lot easier and a lot faster if you find a, a specific way to cover Fortnite that others are not. Thumbnails. I'm not saying that's easy. Thumbnails, Dan. I would describe these as fantastically generic. Yeah. And what I mean by that is that they're of a very high standard, but they I've seen these type of thumbnails from countless channels. So is there also a question of how maybe to differentiate i mean maybe it was this character that they introduced was to try and give them a bit of uniqueness um, yeah i'm it's... not necessarily saying to change the thumbnail style but it's something that we're very familiar with it is i mean and we did talk about this a couple times today you want to be making thumbnails that are you know comparable to the thumbnails everyone else is making but then how do you also stand out so it's it's going to be about the thumbnails and also the subject matter and that's that's why i really do like the latest one because not only does the latest thumbnail have a lot of clarity to it it's really sharp it's really mm. colorful yeah. uh it it just it fits the niche too you know so mm-hmm. that could be it is just you know i think it, it's gonna matter less once you have the thumbnails down in that niche it might matter less and it might just more be about how you cover the game what are you bringing to the table that other people are not Okay, let's move on to the next channel, which is a non-gaming channel. This is Uday uh, Ade Lady. I hope I pronounced that correctly. New videos every week, but new videos on what? Digital art, I'm seeing here. Digital art shorts. That's, that's where I'm going with this one. 
I'm intrigued. I need to click on one just to find out yeah. um, so how to do time lapse. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So it looks as if it's time lapse of a digital drawing. Cool. Which is cool. Yeah. And it works for a short, too. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to um, the content itself because you've got 300 subscribers, but there's some spiky views here. Like, we, 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 we always suggest that people try and maybe see how they can tie themselves up tie themselves to popular culture and things like mr bean here and this uh, goku drawing which has a thousand views but then this one about drawing a a, a beach side has got six thousand views already and look they've done that thing where some channels like to put on how many views the video's got when it's got like 150 million <laughs> plus i don't think you need to do that just yet for, <laughs> for such a video but I, I i i like the the entrepreneurial spirit there yeah you know the funny thing about that is i always thought that was kind of overrated but i do notice that every once in a while i'm going through you know scrolling down and i see one that says a whole bunch of views i'm like oh what is that it catches I, your eye doesn't it yeah, it's, it does. it's, so it's I, selling I hate, the credibility yeah i hate to admit that that actually probably works but it probably does do you think do you think dan we should um we should add that to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know where i'm going with this don't you yeah <laughs> you, you think we should uh it, should. we should add it to um oh where, where is, where it is that like? i'll I guess we'll have to put good half IQ. a million views for that one. Uh, Look at those very good IQ looking thumbnails. Look at that. Where's the... Um, oh, there we go, that one. We, we need to put one million plus views on it. Yeah. I, it's still hilarious how this... Right, this is Dan's first video on, on vidIQ. <laughs> and like I made like a cameo appearance on this, like just to get bit, provide a bit of continuity. And what does a thumbnail preview show you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just looks like I made the video, which I find hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, uh, sidetracking a little bit there. What do we think? Uh, yeah, I was noticing this. there were some videos that were not about drawing, but that still had a few hundred views. And I'm kind of wondering if this creator, maybe they shared them somewhere else, or maybe they're building a pretty solid base audience. You know, maybe, yeah. maybe no matter what they upload, they can get a couple hundred views, which is a good place to be. I, but I still think it's important not to switch topics so dramatically from working out to drawing but it's just kind of interesting nine months ago 337 views on yeah, yeah, you're right. you know something totally different and they were figuring out what they wanted to do for a good few months but now they've really nailed down their digital art um style so just maybe reflecting that in a channel banner as well going forward uh well, that sort of thing one thing we would tell a lot of channels that that are you know art channels would be can you draw something that is trending like loki you know I, and i keep getting pushed headlines about how it's broken all the records over at disney plus <laughs> so yeah. it's probably one of the most popular shows ever so far so it's probably not too late to even if you can get a video done in a couple days drawing loki uh just if you can get on trends like that then, you know that's always a good place to be as a, an art channel and these are all YouTube shorts, so they're using a fairly basic thumbnail. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. The fact that they're making a short, the making a thumbnail for shorts is a credit there. Maybe you just need to check if there's any audience watching from outside of shorts, because I'm assuming that's where this got its surge in views, uh, with it being a short. Uh, all right, unless, Jeff, you have anything else to add? Oh, look, they've made their own YouTube play button there. That's oh, cool. nice. Nice. That's what... No, more than do... just... Who would do something like that? Eh? Just like make their own play buttons and do <laughs> I know a few guys. I know a few yeah. guys are doing that. <laughs> a few guys in this stream. <laughs> I know some few guys in the stream doing that. Right, oh, let's man. pick it. Let's pick another one. Let's pick another one. Uh, Three hundred and two. But the next one, Jeff, I don't need to make one. The next one's going to be a real deal. That's I'm nice. Yeah, let's get it, man. Uh, all right, this is going to be uh, Tyler Shipley here uh, all right dan we've got a minecraft shorts channel it looks like here we got a minecraft that, shorts channel look at that Three thousand views 23 hours ago one view 14 hours ago there's a Min minutes. big dis uh big discrepancy there minutes minutes ago 14 minutes ago yeah you said okay i thought you said 14 hours ago <laughs> sorry i meant i did mean 40 minutes <laughs> the discrepancy is the amount of hours <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. The discrepancy is Rob's math on this. Pick on, Rob, pick on Rob here. Yeah. Okay, all right, I can take it. I'm a man sometimes. 
So uh, we got another Minecraft Shorts channel. And uh, yeah, I would say that the way you're approaching Shorts content is how a lot of people are approaching Shorts content. You're just kind of showing intriguing things. Oh, is this going to... So you've this made a gonna, loop this here. This is going to be a loop. I'm pretty certain, but my internet is so rubbish that it's not going to play it properly. <laughs> but yeah. That's that Canadian internet again. I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. Like, mm, <laughs> terrible. So... What I what I would say here is the video la this video lasts forever. Interesting concept. Maybe that's your first loop. Try to see how many more of those you can make without giving away that it's a loop. You know what I mean? Just do do something interesting in Minecraft and you know make it make people unaware that they've just watched it four times. That's that's like the most successful loop you can make. And uh, I. I don't know. I, all I can say for a Minecraft Shorts channel is if you have views like this, you're getting over a thousand views on a lot of the things you upload. And then any one of these could just blow up one day thanks to the, you know, the way shorts work. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. But when it comes to goals, uh, you know, it's going to come down to consistency. Consistency in the frequency you upload and consistency in the type of shorts you're making. Because if you want returning viewers and you want to pivot to these longer form videos, uh, then yes, you, people need to know what they're going to be coming back for. But why is this person stolen by YouTube short of me that's the way to get it. Actually, I didn't tell you about this, Rob. <laughs> that's chapter three in the Savage Academy. One of the first things you're supposed to do to grow your YouTube channel is to steal a vidIQ short. <laughs> but here's the thing. I, and I don't know. You're smart about this stuff. You know how you can check mark people can use my short stuff? Can you claim this now? Is it too late? Is it too bad because you got a check mark on it? Uh, well, no, it's only for audio permission. Uh, this isn't oh. for, yeah, this was before the logo even existed. Well, there you go. You did all the work for this channel. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you are. There we are. I think this channel needs to probably take, just take a look at this Stevie channel and uh, replicate what they're doing uh, there, which you're kind of already doing. Uh, well, anyway. Savage, hello. That was that was the most savage thing I've ever seen. It's maybe the second time we've actually come to a channel that stole something directly from us as we go to review them. But really, it makes you think, how smart are these people? Because they know we're going to possibly review them, yet they stole directly from them. Remember that one person that stole your thumbnail, Rob? Remember that? I, I do, I do, yeah. What is wrong not with nice, these people? These, nice. these are not necessarily the, the smartest people on the internet, I don't think. I mean, obviously, they're not at work or at school right now. It's the middle of the day where they should be doing something uh education wise or making some money or something instead they're on here stealing from vid iq and then getting on here and getting i'm about to savage them is what's going to happen that's i mean it's, it's just a sad state of affairs out there ladies and gentlemen i'm i'm really sad about this savage can you do that glasses trick where you take them off but they don't actually come off listen let me explain something to you <laughs> yeah look at him I'm smiling, only doing smiling. i've only done it once and i'll never do it again so don't worry about it and there's a Which gift on it on you on twitter so you can if you want to see it go see that which channel do you want to savage uh, what do we got? Uh, we got 31 students so far. All right, let's go to 25. Let's do 25. that. 25, right. Okay, I will bring that channel up for you. Let's see what we've got. Mm. All right, so just a uh, forewarning here. This is an alternative uh, review of your channel. You know what you're doing when you submit to the Savage channel audit form. That's you're right. going to get something that might not be associated with anything Jeff, Dan, or I would ever advise. But Savage? I love how I love how he knew this person knew that they were going to get savaged by me. So if you scroll down a little bit, you see the thumbnail welcoming me as the return of the king. Yes, indeed. I am here. The king has returned. I played 100 games of Sky Wars, and this is what happened. My guess is nothing. What is Sky Wars? I know Dan would know. What is Sky Wars, Dan? I know what Bed Wars is. I guess some, something similar, but in the sky. It's the opposite, huh? Can you imagine something so yes. crazy today? They came up with Bed Wars, which I still don't understand. Like I said, the only thing Bed Wars is to me is a Friday night. I don't know anything else about no Minecraft version of it, so I'd like to understand what it is. But they made a, ver a reverse version of it. I don't know. I don't understand. So we watched Willy Wonders Wonderland. It was bad. Well, I guess I don't have to watch this video. Why would I watch for 14 minutes? You just told me in like five seconds that it was bad. If that was bad, why would I want to watch a review about it? It seems to me that that is a premise that failed upon uh first coming up with it as right and so the og smp got reset i don't even know what any of that means there's a bunch of letters and words in that title i don't understand what any of it means and it seems to me that this was a great big waste of time uh, one more thing i yep. invade let's say i invade i got i got to look over <laughs> did you see him looking up for his glasses I, gotta be, I can't see through <laughs> these things i'm telling you look that's why zoom was better in some ways i'm not gonna lie uh i invaded uh run what is it minecraft servers what is that 
Run random. Down. Random? Yeah. Oh, I see. I had to make the screen bigger. Well, let me tell you something. Even if he even if he went to the most well-known server, let's be honest about this. Why would I care? I don't understand why I would care in any any significant way above that versus if I if someone said, look, let me explain something to you. I invaded these random Minecraft servers and I had a cheeseburger next to me. I would eat the cheeseburger over whatever you have to say about a mind random. I don't care nothing about that. If your video isn't more important to me than a cheeseburger, then you got to start again. Got to do some. All right, we got one more of these. What do we got? <laughs> yes, you know sometimes, Savage, when you when you just talk about people just using words in titles, I mm. feel as if that's what you just do as as you talk. You just I do use, use words. words Rob, it's a, an interesting thing I decided in, to do in, a in a ago. random collection. You know, like when you have a um, you're building some Lego and like you follow the instructions. You just it's like you just get your box of Lego and just build I need something to know else. Good instructions. That's a that's a new one on me. Who's the what latest channel, person? To, what channel to, do you want? The latest person who just submitted, someone all right. who yeah. saw all that. Number 36, right, okay. Let's let's take a look at them. I will make this bigger for you in a second. Savage, just one second. There we go. All right, who are we looking at here? Alex and uh, Alexander. Oh, I got it, Alexander. I, you know what? I'll give him, I'll give him the Savage uh, uh, Confetti of Joy. I don't have any confetti here, but that was a good, that's a good name right there. I like that, Alexander. Okay, yeah. look, he's only been doing this for a couple of weeks. Yeah, and he's already 10, got, subscribers. Well, we know that's false. We know, right. we know, look, 51,000 views two weeks. What is that? A, is that a short? No, 11 minutes. How is he able to do the 161,000 views on his second video ever? 4,000 views. For, <clears throat> look, this is obviously a fake channel, but I love it. It's the greatest fake channel I've ever seen in my life. 10,000 subscribers in one month. Nope. I mean, we know that ain't true, but I love, I love the, I love the, the the huspa of coming on here in vidIQ with your obviously fake channel and trying to fake us all out. That's pretty good though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really surprised that he was able to get over on Rob. Rob looked at that number and said, "Look, this is a real savage audit." I looked at it, I go, "Nope, it's fake." But I love it. It's a good type of fake. It's a type of fake that you go, you know what? That's some good. You ever had them fake Twinkies? They're not that bad, but they're like half price. So I like it. I like it fake sometimes. It's good. I have no idea what he's talking about anymore, so I'm just going to mm. move on. Uh, Savage, if you can take a break for a, a few minutes, let's just try and audit some mm. channels properly. properly he's, to, giving, he's, giving, he's giving Junk so much so much material to work with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Junk just doesn't start a Savage animation channel of some kind. Uh, all right, we're looking at uh, Denzel Tech Channel. Uh, so, Jeff, this is one that uh, sort of up your street a little bit in terms of tech. Uh, my first thoughts would be it's a little bit busy. There's a lot of text going on here, but love to know your thoughts. Yeah, and I mean, well, the, the banner for sure is is really, really, really busy. So I would probably just kind of um, reduce that down to what it is that you're doing on your channel, because right now I have an idea of what they're doing, but you got to be really careful with this. So you know, if you if you're going to be doing the the matrix builds, or if you're doing Cody, or if you're doing that sort of stuff. Um, you kind of want to make that obvious, at least as far as what you're doing. So your audience knows that they came to the right place. You're doing a lot of the, um, how to install, how to set up the best new build, stuff like that. Um, you gotta be careful with this type of content. Obviously I've seen uh, a few of my friends, uh, have their channels, uh, go through a lot of strife with uh, YouTube monetization and a, a lot of other issues with that. Yeah. But, um, as long as we're keeping it straightforward, you know, just keeping it straightforward, letting people know exactly what it's going to be about. I think that'll help. Let's see here. Yeah, so so we're talking here about um, community guidelines, right? Whereby um, these these tools and services can allow people to uh, acquire content. I'm not going to say illegally, but for free, where maybe it shouldn't be for free. And I'm not suggesting that this is what this channel is doing, right? Um, because these products and services are are available to buy. It's just what hap what what happens when they're in the hands of a user and you as a, I guess you are responsible as the educator to make sure that they're doing uh, the right things with them. So yeah, a good to point out um, yeah. some, some, some healthy numbers here for, for the channel. I can see. Oh yeah. No, these channels can get a bunch of views. You know, they, they can have some pretty good evergreen content as well. Um, but it's just one of the things where they do have to be careful. Denzel tech. If you are listening, um, just be very careful. You know, if they've been in the game long enough and they probably, hopefully they've noticed the fact that there has been a lot of major channels who are no longer around. And that's mm. for a reason. Even the ones I had a friend of mine who pivoted, you know, he pivoted probably a year and a half ago. And just recently in the past, uh, two months had his channel, entire channel shut down. 
because of so, legacy content that was correct. just that's just over from before yeah. yep yep and even he was unlisting stuff but it was by that point it was too late you know so they they shut the whole thing down so um you just got to be careful with this in the long run this this you know overall i think it looks okay i think what they're doing is okay they're doing how to install code you know keyword blank Xantrix build or things like that but yeah it it looks like um applying different skins and configs and setup to yep. to it rather than uh, any sort of app downloading or anything so that from first impressions that would seem that it's a promising direction for this channel yeah and that looks the fair creating yeah we just got to be careful with it and, and try to you know stay above board you know as much as possible uh, what do you think to the value proposition? Because their value proposition is to get five thousand subscribers. Yeah, see, that's like that's 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 making it about yourself and not making it about the viewer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the thing. It's like cool, but why should I help you get the what? What's in it for me to help you get five thousand subscribers? You know, right? the best thing is that he got his subscribers hidden, so he can get over five thousand subscribers and be like, "Yeah, help me get there." He's at six thousand subscribers. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, yeah. right there. I love that. It could be a uh, nine hundred thousand, and uh, we'd never know. Uh, let's move on to maybe one more gaming channel. If we can squeeze one in, Dan, I'm going to bring you in for this one if we can. Two oh, wow. So far, we've had Minecraft and Fortnite channels done. So I promise you, I'm going to deliver hmm. neither of those this time. I'm giving you the, a channel that's all about nothing. All about nothing. Is that, wow. is that genuine? That's a savage channel right there. No videos, one subscriber. That's a great channel right there. Yeah, right. Okay. Appreciate that. Uh, so, Dan, Dan, what would be your advice here? Uh, make short, a video. Short and simple? Good. Let's move yeah. on to the next one, then. We'll uh, pick... Um, the greatest one, we've, ever, we've ever taken a look at. I'm going to tell you right there. One, two, seven. One rule video, number, please. Yeah, rule, rule number one of YouTube, make videos. Make it, yeah. <laughs> the first rule of YouTube is nobody talks about videos that you make. Uh, the wild... Wolf Games. This all right. This is not a Minecraft channel or a Fortnite channel. It is a channel about American truck simulators, Mad Max, Resident Evil, a bit more American truck simulator. At at the risk of everybody booing me for my puns, uh, I pick a lane. Hey. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank, thank that you. was great. Man. That was great. <laughs> thank thank you. I deserved I deserved all of that. So, looks like you did pivot. You were doing, wow, you've been at this for a long yeah. time. Um, so that, yeah, that's what I was trying to do, Dan. We're going back to nine months ago. Yeah. And they were getting two views, seven views. So, like, you just, let's listen to your monologue as I slowly scroll back up and see what the channel's doing. Well, because I, I have friends that whose channels look very similar to this, Okay. Uh, this this speaks to somebody who really wants a YouTube channel, but they're not quite sure exactly what that should be about yet. They just love the process of making videos. So you need to go on. First, you need to go on a run with a game for, for a, a set amount of time because you're kind of bouncing between a few games at present. Uh, it looks like you tried to do different games, but it, none of these game, none of these videos on their own have really a purpose. Skyrim modded playthrough part six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, that's what was the mod that you were using what happened in the video like all of these things are going to help draw the audience in well you know it, there you got a, a picture of a plane crashing in an older grand theft auto, audio, auto video forcing a plane to crash that's a very interesting concept i would have started with you know i forced a plane to crash in gta 5 you know episode 34 none of that matters so a lot of little tweaks but when we get to present day you still haven't really picked where you want to go with your channel. So take your favorite game. And then if it's American Truck Simulator, for example, think about what you could bring to that audience. So I'm going to focus on that because that's the you know what you've done most recently. What are some things you can help American Truck Simulator players do to make their experience in the game better? Can you can you help them beat levels faster? Can you help them optimize in some way? Maybe, I don't know if this is a game where you're spending money and trying to min-max different things, but there's probably a lot of different tips you can give people. And I'd start there. Instead of making a 36-minute video, episode five, all your videos just have a couple of views here and there, and that's going to continue happening. You're kind of um, you know beating your head against the wall a little bit. Try offering a little more value. Even if it is just you playing the game Focus on the thing that happened in the game less than episode five. As I was scrolling up, you could see that 
it feels as if almost nothing has changed on the channel in the past year. So it is time to try something completely new uh, with your content. Or I was, in another nine months, you'll be in the same position. I was talking to a friend today about uh, you know a game called Unturned. And they're like, man, I really, I really love this game. And there's a lot of people who watch it. But I got to tell you, the developer has decided to like not update it. And I don't know what to do. And I said, well, there's a lot of people who feel like you, right? That love the game, but there's no updates. Your job as the creator is to give them a reason to play by inspiring them with your content. So whether it, if it's you having fun with your friends, if it's you giving tutorials, things to do in Unturned or things to do in Truck Simulator, whatever it may be. But I think gaming channels should kind of reframe the way they consider their position on YouTube. You as the creator are helping inspire people play these to play these games and keep playing these games. And we're going to call it a day right there for this channel audit live stream. You can see us all on screen now. If you want to say your goodbyes, maybe we'll pop some up on screen. Savage, as always, it's been a pleasure. Of course it has. <laughs> yeah, that did sound like a question. I mean, <laughs> it, was, it was a statement that we knew this. We'll pop these names up here so I can say them. So I don't yeah, sure. Here. All right, here we go. Then. Good night them? by A and Nayo's Fashion Home Remedies. I love that. Fashion and home remedies. Fashion and home remedies. What? Unknown animations. Well, we never knew who you were in the first place, so I guess that's all right. What else? All right. Yeah. I like pizza. So do I. I like your. I'm a. Can everyone subscribe to I like pizza because that makes the most sense. Artist Haven is in the house. Tish, we love you, baby girl. Let's go. Uh, give me a couple more of these. Uh, that was the channel that Savage wouldn't Savage last Don't week. Don't you worry about it. Don't you talk about it. She got uh, compromising photos of me, so I can't be doing that all the time. <laughs> Gaming after SO. I don't know what that means, but. Uh, we are you're welcome for what we did for you, whatever we shine off the grid. I agree, you got to do both those things off the grid. Too many people know about you. See, I said some stuff earlier than or, or Travis said something earlier, and then they had an advertisement over here. One more, why not? Before we go, let's see who else. One we, more, all right, one more. Uh, one more. Uh, yeah, we tried to click on somebody's name, Hexanar Tunes. I didn't make it. No, congrats, to everyone who made it. You didn't make it because no one can pronounce your name. And uh, when they try to look for you in YouTube, they can't remember if it's at a Z or an X or a T or a W. Let me tell you something right now. Name yourself Chris Jones and you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Savage, as always. Dan, I'm going to say you can say goodbye to the following people. All right. Zenzeris, goodbye to you. Thank you for moderating. Thank you to all our moderators, by the way. Of uh, course. We have Gerald Winter. We'll say goodbye. Am I just reading? Which, which one do you want me to read? Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep picking them. All right, Eagle you can Times. Do the same to me. Yeah, Eagle Times. We'll say bye to you. Uh, why are you doing this to me, man? <laughs> you you trying to mess with me? And this is why no, I knew I'm you were going to. I'm not. I'm just clicking. I'm not really picking really difficult channel names to pronounce. Van. That looks like some kind of colleges will tell you about right there. Is what that looks like. Wow. Okay. Anyway, bye to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Eli Franklin. We'll see you later. All right, and now we'll, we'll pass it on to Jeff. Uh, let's see uh, who we got for you, Jeff. Uh, we've got Aiden Ross memes with a Z. Bye to you. Peace to him. We've also got this person. Uh, K Elastic TV. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. And Nitro Pan. Thank you for all. All, all right, Dom. Give it to me. Okay. I'm all right. Goodbye to you. Get ready. I'm ready. Tim's Aviation. Goodbye to you. Fly away and have some fun. Eddie Records, YT. <laughs> it's so funny that everybody's saying goodbye. Alex <laughs> uh, Tika, VR, until next time. This is me wearing my uh, VR headset. Goodbye to all of you. <laughs> and then Joe is phenomenal. Bye. I guess I actually need to do an outro here. I'm in control. Aren't I? So, um, and Devils Inside Tech. Yeah, okay. So I'm saying goodbye to them. And now this is me. Clicking the button to go on the outro. I'm sorry. I'm trying to work out where I actually did this. All right. No, that's not it. There it is. Okay. So I found the button. Everybody can wave like with the Brady Bunch or whatever. Smile. Uh, bye, Savage. Bye, Jeff. Thank you for joining us late. Bye, Dan. And we'll see you all tomorrow for the uh, Q&A. Bye for now. Oh, well, it's broken. That video won't play. It just keeps pausing. <laughs> what? Fantastic. What should, should we do that again? What, what's going
Useless. <laughs> right, okay. Broken. Bye, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm going to press this button. See you all. See you.